the defender, center back will volley because he's very fast. <laughs> 60! <laughs> <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Who's that? Hang on. Hang on. Wait there one minute. <laughs> Hang on. Who's this? No. I thought someone in our team. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Not gold. That is possible, my friend. Do you play FIFA? I do. You do? I do. Sometimes. Only with my friends when they. You don't play with me, though, huh? But you don't play. I play with you. You want to play? But you never play. That's the beat. Yeah. Ooh, 92. A winger, no? No, Semedo. No, Semedo, no. Semedo? 78? 92. 92, yeah. Yeah, but I could see Semedo being a bit more, no? Yeah, Played defensive as well. Barcelona. Yeah, defensive, 33, not Semedo. Winger. I have to go winger. Dribble, 85. Podence. But 92 mm. is... Pedro? It could be Pedro. That's a hard one, starts off with that. That is a tough one, starts off with that, right in the middle of the pack. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> nice. I think... <laughs> I go for Podence. We go with you. Podence? I go for Podence. Well, this is your one. Off you go, pal. Yeah, Podence. Great shout, pal. Great shout. Yes. That was Podence. a good one, huh? Yeah. I guess this is a midfielder, no? Yeah, and he's very slow. <laughs> 61. Very slow, he has good passes. Maybe Joao, no? 82 general. Yeah, Joao or Ruben, one of the two. Which, how can we define? I think if he's nervous, he has more short. Yeah. yeah. To be Joao? Yeah. I say Joao, yeah, I say. Yeah, Joao, yeah, Joao. Ah! Oh. Yeah, but they need to give him more yeah, for the can, shot. Yeah, exactly. It's not correct. This one is very, very, very bad. <laughs> it's me, my friend. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Not gold. That is possible, my friend. What no. is this, my friend? You need to very, change. Very, <laughs> very, very. <laughs> it, need, it needs to be hey, rare at, gold. Wait, 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 wait. For this, look, look, look at this photo, please. <laughs> <laughs> what is no, this? No, you need more respect. No, oh, no respect. It's a big one, this one. 84. 84? Yeah. He's a great Raul. Team, I yeah, say he's Raul. Attacker. You think Raul? Yeah. Raul. Straight up. The main man. Yeah. Or are you the main man? Yeah. Or are you the main man? Raul, Raul. He's the main man. Raul? Great shout. Yeah. Raul, for sure. I think he'll be the highest for us now. You or him? No, him. Him is the highest. He's the highest? I think that was oh. obvious that one, wasn't it? I like to see the physical. 83. I always physically 83. Let's see mine. <laughs> oh. So this is a defender, center back, will really volley because he's very fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious, it's Adama. Uh, but the problem is... I thought he was more than 92 for pace. The problem is 92, the pace is very fast, but... Physically, he's a beast, so I don't understand why they put maybe, 76. Maybe Pedro. Ah, Pedro is very yeah, fast good one. too. Adama, his shot must be more than 57 too. It's very powerful. It, I don't think it's Adama. Because physic, they, they, it's not possible. 76 for Adama. I think it's Pedro. But so, yeah, it's true that his shot should be more yeah. than, but I think it's Pedro. Or wait, maybe, or Nelson. Nelson is very fast too. Yeah, I think yeah, maybe Nelson, no? he's a defender, yeah. Maybe it's Nelson. Nelson? Nelson or Pedro, because Adama is 76 for physics and 57 for sure. Yeah, you're Even right. Even Pedro, Nelson. 50, yeah, it must be Nelson. Yeah, Nelson, you're right. Uh, <laughs> good one. So, 72. The pace is good. Got to be a young boy, no? The pace is good. 85. It's got to be someone young. For me, Fabio, Fabio. Silva. Actually, Fabio. Fabio Vitinho. Yeah, he's quite a him and Vitinho, very, very small, I think. I'll go Fabio. I go Fabio. I'll go with you. Let's go. I'm rubbish at this game, mate. Yeah, I know. 
Who's that? Hang on. Hang on. Wait there one minute. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Who's this? No. That's not someone in our team. Aneto. Who? Aneto. <laughs> when they make this, this this picture, this is not good enough. No, definitely. This is not, not good enough. My friend, who's this? I'm not agree about that. <laughs> we have to take a picture it's and show. Him. Definitely, I'm take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Put in the group. Definitely, I'm taking a picture. Put Excuse me, group. one moment. Is that is shocking? They've done him dirty there with the picture. Not even the scores, my friend. Twenty-eight defense in that. Come on. He's honking. The biggest. 60! Oh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> no relief. <really. laughs> you know that he's short, but I 50. go with the win. I go with the win. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. No, Polis. This one is Polis. Me. Easy. At least he has a photo for Over okay, okay. At least he has a photo nice for photo. Over Anton. Nice photo. Defense 79, my friend. Defender. Bully? Mm. Midfielder, maybe. Defensive midfielder. Pass. No? Zais. Defensive midfielder. But the pass and, and the shot should be high. Nervous. Yeah. If he's nervous. Yeah. Could be bowling, I think. Could Defense. be bowling, then. But physical will have to be high. There's no bowling. So the physical has to be high. 81's a good score, man. And 77's quick. No, 77. Not quick. Okay. My we... friend, it's quick for me, 77. I'm very slow. I hope mine's not here. I'm just telling you now, I hope mine's not here. You have to be Leander for me. Leander. If not, I don't know. No, 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 it's not. We're miles off it, mate. Who is? Miles off it. The left wing back. Johnny. We forgot about Johnny because he's injured. Poor that, isn't it? No, I didn't forget about Johnny, but. I think the pace 77. We should have known that. We should have known that. 77 pace. What are you thinking? Should we higher? A little bit higher, yeah. Yeah, we should have known that, mate. We're better than that. We're, you we're, should we're, know. We're I, I, I guess one good, so my friend, you have to start working on. What? Oh, come on. You have to start. Finish your game. 83. 83 dribbling. Pass. <clears throat> Moutinho, Moutinho. Nevis. I go with you with Moutinho. You go Moutinho? Yeah. 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 Just because I think Neves will be the one who's higher than 66. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Moutinho first. I think I said Moutinho. I said Moutinho. Stop playing with me. Come on. You said Moutinho first. I said Moutinho. You said Moutinho. There you go. That's 5 2, my friend. Because he's the captain, isn't he? My friend, it's 5 2. I have you in the pocket. But you're exactly. the main man. I know that. You're the main man. It's 5 2. After we talk. <laughs> Must be a defender because the shot is really low. Maybe Johnny Otto, no? Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Physically, he's strong. Yeah, physically, he's strong. Defensively, he's good. Defensively, he's good. But dribble, the, the dribble should be more. Is really, really and low. Dribble, dribble for Johnny. Johnny's a good dribbler. Yeah, maybe Johnny. This one is difficult. But because 83 is very good physically. Yeah. Then maybe Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. Let's go for Johnny, man. Yeah, and the shot is, is really weak, so it yeah, must be... Oh! No! <laughs> what? I'm faster than that. It's what? impossible. No. This is not possible. This is a huge dis disgrace. Yeah, this is very bad. This is a disgrace. How can Bali be 62 for pace? Wow. Physically, 83. Impossible. That have to be you, my friend. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, if that's me, I'm really happy with that score of 62 because I'm not quick. I think you have to be three, but we're good with that. What do you mean three? <laughs> three what? 30? <laughs> My friend, what's this? What's this? No, dribbling 70. 70? Sometimes you come in out, you know. Sometimes you... <laughs> <laughs> Marcel or me? It's one or the other. Who do we go with? If you get it wrong, this is my point. Oof, my pace, my heart has to be more pace than that. Huh? So I've got to be slower, Marcel's got to be quicker. Yeah, but you already said that. 
No respect, man. No respect. <laughs> I go you. you I go you. Okay. I go you, but I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. I think it's another person. Saiz. He never even said Saiz, man. If it had aggression there, it'd be higher. Yeah. Aggressive, Saiz. Too aggressive, man. But dribbling, where, where did that 70 dribbling come from? I don't know. He never make a stop up. No. Never. No. No. Not good enough, but left wing back last week. Now we're talking. Well, he didn't pass anyone. Yeah. Let me see. That's you. I think so, yeah. Yeah? Pace is very low, I think. I know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? 47 pace, my friend. <laughs> no, they're playing with me. But the dribbling is very good, huh, my friend. When you... <clears throat> the one thing I would ask for in this, I'm not really one for doing this, to be fair. Not really big thing. I'd like a little bit more on the pass. Yeah. A little bit yeah, more. Have, if I'm going to pass the one, the rest is okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pass. Just a little bit more. Yeah, the you know pass I mean? have to be more. I think it has to be a little bit the more. The dribbling have to be... No, uh, I don't dribble. No. You know what I'm saying? No. no but you get in the box. Everything else, well, now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the box. Yeah, we got my friend. Very good score against with England, my friend. Well, very nice, huh? First goal in five years. There we go, big Cody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Bravo. That's okay. Bravo. Huh? A little bit more difficult. I go for midfielders. Yeah. No, me too. Midfielder, uh, but dribble. Uh, 77 dribble. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I think Ruben Neves. But <laughs> I'm not. 77. Oh, it's uh, yeah, very, very yeah. fast, huh? <laughs> yeah, but 80, 82. No, I but think. the shot is very low, my friend. Yeah, but we go for Ruben Neves this one. Must be a big player, so Ruben Neves. Yeah. <laughs> See, this one now. Oh, Nelson. Man. This is Nelson. Pace 92. You've been waiting for Nelson, man, eh? because you play for Barcelona. No, no, you no. You play for Barcelona. You know, it's not because of that, because if he's not, it's, it, in defense, is pretty good. Pace 92. No, 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 I know. I know the scores are good, but you said Nelson every single one. You like Nelson, I know. No, I didn't. You play for Barcelona, you play for Barcelona, you get to speak Spanish, yeah. Portuguese. You sure. tell me about your haircut. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you do this one, man. Yeah? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Nelson. Yeah, very good, huh? Very good. Eighty physical. Bolly. Yeah. Bolly. We go with straight, straight off. Bolly. Yeah. There's no two ways about it. Go on, big volley. Yeah, yes. big volley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 6 2 to me, my friend. Yeah. I've got six right. Do you think it's basketball? Okay. Because you, you, when you say one, it's two points for you. Do you think it's basketball? Do <laughs> you think it's basketball? You say. What do you, mean? you think it's basketball? My friend, I got six. Come right? on, stop playing. <laughs> I've got six. I knew that was volley. I said volley and you agreed. Ooh, there he is. Adama, can we can we can we go no, straight no, no, away? No, no, maybe it's Bolly. <laughs> go. No, this is Adama. Adama. This is pretty obvious. Yes. Ooh, page ninety-six. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> this is my one. Eh? Disaster, my friend. Eh? And, and the pass. What is going on here? And the pass. I know, but you don't pass. So That's it should be long. Because you never That's pass. That's absolutely But you don't pass. That should be cross. Because you never pass. Come on, bro. Stop playing with me. When do you pass? Pass. And the physical. The physical is still... Uh, Raul is still high. Come on, I'm not with that. <laughs> no. Is Raul higher than him? How can Raul be stronger? That's not right, is it? I'm not saying anything. You have to speak what with What else you got? My friend, do they know you play right wing back? Cafu. And defend, defend, defend me, wow. Cafu. Basically, I'm standing in the middle of the pitch. So basically, you stand in the middle of the pitch and you don't pass. You, you, open, no you open it, you no open respect. it. I don't know. No respect. He's... Look at the trim here. Look at the haircut. And look, at, look at the goatee. Very nice, huh? Yeah? You don't like? You're not happy? 
the physical, the physical is still is a joke. But yeah. exactly, it how, can't be the case. How he can be 83? It can't be the case. That's not good enough. And he's defending more than me as well. <laughs> I will never play in the in, in the in the middle of. <laughs> you play right wing back. Exactly. How he can be more defending than me? Don't worry. Listen, don't worry. It's fine. I will, I will speak. One, we speak. We speak. One by one. We speak after. Yeah, we yeah, speak yeah. after. After. You speak to me. Out. You tell me what's the problem, and I'll go speak to you. No problem. The physical, I think, is a joke. But you know what? He's only four under you for dribbling. You're a dribbler. Exactly. <laughs> you, you take it for home. Okay. Okay. I'm not one that. Yeah. No problem. I have to speak with the FIFA. It's not good. It's not good. We go again now. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, 112K. We have a great day for you, right? We have Wolves featuring Fortnite. We have the Wolves Cup. I'm super excited, right? I am super excited. Um, anytime we get the chance to watch any sort of Fortnite, um, I'm always going to be excited, right? And obviously, there's many of you who are going to be in chat today, right? Who are going to be partaking in this. We have some professional players from other games right who are going to be competing in this and so i honestly can't wait to see right anytime you know you have somebody who's a pro in maybe fifa or rocket league right seeing if they can convert their skills to fortnite is always you know pretty interesting right we'll see who the real gamers are you can be good in any game um and i'm sure we'll have some interesting surprises when it comes to what happens in game I'm just gonna be real with you guys right we have uh, a lot of we have a lot of action today we will have four games right solo for anybody wondering um I don't believe it's available to sign up anymore. So signups were completed um, over the course of the past couple of days. And, right, we uh, obviously, like I said prior, we have some professional players from other games. We have Rocket League's players, right, from Wolves. We have FIFA players from Wolves who will be competing today. And uh, over the course of the stream, right, we're going to get a chance to uh, find out more about these guys, right? Get, the, get an opportunity to really talk to these guys, get to know them, um, because... Apart from being professional players, they are people, right? They are people. So, I do want to get into, you know, our first pro player. He is a FIFA pro. Some of you may know him, right? His name is Abinho. He competes representing Wolves Esports. And uh, I, I really just want to, I want to talk to you, bro, man. I, I, I play FIFA myself. I play FIFA myself. Not very good. Not as good as you, probably. <laughs> um but I do want to know from you, man, like, what is it like being a FIFA pro? Like, how is, how does it feel to be able to compete in a game such as FIFA? Uh, it's very hard to compete FIFA because it's, it's a game that uh, it's very, uh, it's low in the, and you need uh, a lot of lucky to win some games because uh, many times you play better, but you need to uh, have luck to score because the game is, it's like that, uh, but but uh, I love football. Then I love to play football, and I love to play FIFA, and uh, it's amazing competitive FIFA. Yeah, I was, I, I really want to know, right? Because obviously, somebody who plays FIFA a lot of the time, right? You know, someone like me, I play FIFA because I've grown up playing football. You know, I love football. I've watched football all my life. I've played FIFA all my life. How long have you actually been playing FIFA? Like, do you remember what like your first FIFA game was? Like, how long have you been playing? I think the first FIFA that I played was the FIFA 90, uh, and uh, but before the FIFA 9, I played uh, Win 11, and uh, yeah, so you, I don't you know. For a while. Yeah, I don't know exactly the year, but uh, when I was uh, five years old, I don't know. Yeah, well. Uh, Along your time, right, you've been playing FIFA for, what, more than 10 years now. Um, you've been playing for a long, long time. It's probably going to be hard to, like, you know, think back to some of your old FIFAs, but do you have, like, the one FIFA where you're like, that was my favourite FIFA of all the years? Is there one FIFA that you liked more than any other? Uh, I think the FIFA 17 is the best game play, but uh, I love the FIFA 19 because uh, it was the FIFA that I played the World Cup. Then yeah. I love this FIFA 19. Uh, I don't like a lot FIFA 21 because it's a boring game. It's 
slow, slow, pass, pass, but uh, I prefer the the game that you can attack, 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 attack. You, you want to get in the <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, cool yeah. Right now. Well, then, I... That's Look, why I, I prefer FIFA 17. Yeah, makes sense, right? You want to get in there, you want to be attacking the goal constantly. Like, obviously, you know, this year, maybe it's a bit harder to do that. Like, what are some of your favourite players to use, though, this year when it comes to trying to score goals and attack and whatnot? Uh... Yeah, I, I prefer the 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 players that you can I can uh, do some skills that I can uh, do uh, great goals like uh, Neymar and players like that. And uh, I like to play uh, or, uh, offensively because uh, my uh, my defense is not very good. Then I, 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 similar to me. I, I, I need to score three, four goals because I, I will get two and three goals. Then, then I need to score more. To get... Yeah, yeah, makes sense, bro. Like I, I, I have the same. I'm not a FIFA pro, but I do have the same sort of issues. I can score goals, <laughs> but I can see too many as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do, do you have much experience with Fortnite? Right, you're going to be playing Fortnite today. Like, how much have you actually played Fortnite in the past? I played Fortnite uh, in season one, but uh, I stopped playing because I need to focus in FIFA and the, the game is so insane and FIFA is slow. Then I, I can continue playing Fortnite, but I like the game. Uh, I already played other games like CS and I can play shooter games. Yeah. Uh, then I, I like Fortnite. Oh, that's good. Well, you're going to get your chance to show how good you are in Fortnite today. Um, do you have an idea of maybe where you're going to land today? Any landing spots? So you're just going to get in the lobby, get on the bus and just wing it as you go? No, no, no. I don't know. I just will uh, jump in. Uh, I don't know what I, I will do. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out along the way look i'm sure there's going to be plenty of people in chat right who also play fifa who want to improve who want to get better right what kind of advice do you give to these guys who want to get better at fifa any any tips you might give them well uh you need to be patient uh you need to be focused uh ever every minute because our time you need to be focused because one if you do one mistake you you lost and uh, you need to be focused you need to be cons uh, uh, you need to train a lot because it's a game that you need to you need to do the co the controls uh, good because uh, it's very hard to, to play in high level then yeah. if you not in your high level you can beat the, the other guys yeah, well, look, I actually want to know, right, because because I do play FIFA a bit, so I am familiar with the game a bit more, right? Like, how do you do, like, when, when you play weekend league, are you getting 30 and O's every weekend? Like, uh -huh. what's weekend league like for you this year so far? Uh, I think it's... Uh, I, I do a uh, 28. But, no, no, no. Uh, but uh, I, I don't like to play weekend league, to be honest. It's a... Uh, a uh, mod that I don't like, but I like to play the tournaments yeah. because uh, the tournament I think that I play with the guys that want to play, and uh, it's uh, a very different, it's more different because when you play weekend league, you play against guys that only pass, 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 <laughs> pass, pass. It's a boring game. You're playing and... against me, mate. <laughs> you and you play against uh, other pro, pro players. They play attacking uh, skill moves. Then it's more fun. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I I definitely understand that. Look, Percy, I stopped playing weekend league because it's too stressful. You know, I'm playing. Yeah, yeah, people. exactly. I just want to enjoy the game, have fun, and it's way too stressful for me. So exactly. I, I, I I've stopped. Um, so obviously, right, like you know. Gaming, you know, you have to spend a lot of time practicing FIFA, right? If you want to stay at the top, you want to be practicing as much as you can. Is there anything, though, that you like to do, like, in your spare time away from the game, right? Obviously, you love football. I'm sure you watch a lot yeah. of football. Like, uh, what do you like to do in your free time away from FIFA? Uh, I like to play football. I already played uh, professional football. And uh, I like to play football. I like to 
uh, get out with my friends. I like to uh, drink a beer. I like to go to the party. I'm a normal people, and I, I like to do everything. Uh, I like to play other games like uh, CS, like I said, uh, and sometimes I played Fortnite. But uh, I think it's that. Yeah, look, I, I I I see that. Obviously, you know, some of that stuff has probably been harder to do in recent times, right? Because of you know coronavirus or whatever. But yeah. Um, you know, it is good, right? Like, I think it's an important thing to know that, like, even when you are competing in a game at a top level, like, it's nice to have some time to yourself, right? Just have some maybe family time, enjoy yourself, have some fun. You say you play f um, football in real life, right? What position yeah. do you play? I play like a midfield. Ah, okay, makes sense, makes sense. And any any uh, players you look up to, like your favorite players in real life that that, that you like? Yeah, I like Cristiano. Of course, Cristiano of course, of course. And uh, I like Neymar. Uh, I like the attackers. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think I think everybody everybody are big fans of those players. Um, look, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. Of course, like good luck today and the rest of the games. Right, we have uh, four games on the way from you guys. It's been a pleasure speaking to you, man. Good luck in FIFA as well. I know uh, a lot of the competition this year is online, right? Um, good yeah. luck in that. Have fun. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. Thank you. Where where, where can the people find you on social media and everything? It's uh, Twitter, Instagram, a tweet. Everything is Abinho B. Then you can find me. All right. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Abinho, top FIFA player, man. I wish I could be as good as him. I don't know. FIFA's too hard for me. I can't. I, that's why I stick to Fortnite personally. FIFA's just way too hard for me. I know a lot of you guys are similar to me where you stick to Fortnite and you will be playing in today's games. I believe we will be getting underway shortly. Um, for the people wondering, though, right, and you want to know maybe a bit more about what's actually going to be happening in these games, I'm going to get up the point format here, read it out to you, right? We have um, from 6th to 100th place. Remember, this is a solo competition. From 6th to 100th place, you don't get any points, right? So if you want to start getting some placement points, you need to be coming top six. Fifth place gets a point, fourth place gets two points, third place gets three points, second place gets five. And for the victory royale, for the person who wins out the game, seven points. Two points per elimination though, right? If you get a kill, that is two points. And so, you know, it's going to be viable, right? If maybe you're too scared about getting any placement points, you will be able to pick up some elimination points along the way. Um, but yeah, that, that is going to be the point for Matt. And remember, top three players in the competition will receive a jersey. We're going to be showing off some of these jerseys for you later on along the stream. Um, I know some of the Rocket League pros are really big fans of the jerseys. They're going to be pushing that for you. And so hopefully we can get to that. The top three players will be getting a Wolves Fortnite jersey, right? If any of you guys have been playing Fortnite recently, you would have seen in-game, um, you know, the collab that Fortnite are doing with a bunch of great football clubs and Wolves is a part of that. And the jersey's great. Honestly, I've been rocking the jersey in creative myself, right? When I'm playing my realistic 1v1s, I'm, I'm battling up against people I've got that Wolves jersey on. So go out there and represent. Um, but, right, before we get into games, we are going to go for a short break. So do not go anywhere. We will be right back and we'll be getting right back into the games once we are here. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back and we are just that bit closer to getting into game. Um, hopefully we'll be there with you soon. But before we get there, I, I do want to show you guys something. I, I, I want to show it to you. I, I mentioned it before the break, but I do want to show it to you. Look what I got my hands on. Got my, my very own Wolves Fortnite jersey, right? And uh, obviously if you've been playing Fortnite, you can get that in game yourself. But if you want one just like me, you know, live in the flesh, in person, in your hands, on your body, um, you can pick up one from Wolves, right? You can purchase one for yourself, exclamation mark jersey in the Twitch chat, and you can get a link to that. I believe, uh, you know, people are going to start probably posting it now. Uh, moderators will probably link it just there. Exclamation mark jersey to pick up your own. Um, you can purchase it for yourself. Please get one. I 100% I, I would vouch. I 100% would vouch. Look, we are getting into game very shortly. So uh, stick around for that. Um, I, I, I do want to say though, right? I do want to say I am very excited to see how uh, the FIFA players who are playing, obviously you just put Tobinho there. I want to see how the Rocket League players do. Um, I'll be honest. I'm not that great at Rocket League. I'm not that great at FIFA. Maybe Fortnite, I can, uh, you know, do my thing to some degree. Uh, but in the meantime, right, I am I am the only Fortnite connoisseur in the building. So I will be harsh. I will critique all of the players to my best of ability. Um, I believe we're actually hopping into game soon, which will be great um, as we tune in. Let me know, guys, if you are playing. Let me know in chat, right? Let me know in chat. Hopefully we can get around to watching you in game. Um, I want to. I want to see some some new names. I want to see some people I've never heard of really popping off. Show me what they can do. Um, it's always great, man. The, the, the beauty of Fortnite is that it is a battle royale. Anybody can win. Anybody can come up on top. And uh, I guarantee you, we will see uh, maybe a couple of different winners. Like we have four games, and so within these four games, hopefully we can get different winners each time. Maybe we'll see somebody just completely dominate and uh, come and win games back to back to back. Who knows? I see we've got Mr. Savage here in chat. My boy, Mr. Savage is here. I'm sure if Mr. Savage was uh, was competing today, maybe we would see that. Somebody winning games back to back to back. Uh, shout out Savage, bro. Shout out, shout out Savage. Um, I believe we are gliding. So maybe we can maybe we can transition into game. I believe we are in the battle bus. And here we have it. We have our boy uh, Loyal Golf, who looks like he's going to be going towards Lazy Link. Big Miss Fortnite here. Some great names. Great names. Oh, you can see the kit. He's representing Wolves. He is representing. You can see him gliding in here gracefully, elegantly, repping that Wolves kit. Oh, my goodness. So many Wolves kits. I'm, I'm loving this. I am loving this. Guys, if you want one in-game, you can purchase that in the store. If you want one in real life like me, then uh, you can purchase that from the Wolves store, I believe. So... I really want to see what happens off spawn here. We can see here, Dumble X. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. But uh, he's landed here towards Sweaty Sands. Of course, what you get, right? What you get with uh, such a stats game of solos is, is, is you're going to have you know loads of different people at like loads of different POIs, right? And so, you know, someone's going to have to fight off spawn. You're going to have people contested. And... Uh, Give me a second here, guys. Okay, cool. Um, El Breezy here towards Retail Row. He's going to be drinking up that big pot. He's got himself a decent, decent loadout, decent weaponry. That AR, that green AR, the green tactical shotgun. You can see on the floor there, the actual, uh, the, the, the green lever shotgun, that's new to the game. I know a lot of people are a big fan of that. I actually like it. I think it's a pretty strong shotgun. I think uh, it's very viable. But Elbreeze are going to be opting for that attack. Going to be opting for that tactical shotgun. He's uh, looting up this building, but unfortunately, I don't think he. Uh, I don't think he's got any any chests out of this one. We're going to stop over there. We're going to stop over there to uh, Lamacy Dow, who is uh, looted up already. No eliminations to his name. I think I think he knows he's on the stream. He's whipping out a little dance for us. Love to see it. Back over to Sweaty Sands, sir. Back over to Sweaty Sands. Finer, who is uh, creeping about here. You can 
can see him just on these rooftops looking to see if he can pick anybody off. He has his eyes set on Dumble. But will he actually be able to uh, win this fight? Oh, it looks like he's going to get the early shots. Does no damage though. So he reveals his position. Isn't able to do any damage. But now he does hit those shots. And so it's time. He knows, look, I've done this damage. I must have the HP advantage at this point. Let me try to get in. Will he hear Dumbo trying to hear? Or... Don't believe so. I must have. I believe I hear myself now. Okay. Looks like uh, they're going to have a little bit of a box fight here. A little bit of a box fight. Window edit comes through. Final. Going to be chunked all the way down to 27 HP. He's now trying to get away and unfortunately isn't able to get away because he had no bills to build with. And so our boy from the beginning, looking like he's about to win out Sweaty Sands. That's his first elimination. Will it be his last? He's got great loot. Look at that tactical shotgun. I know what I'd do if I had that tactical shotgun. I would get a limbs and that's what he's going to look to do. Looking to get towards that hotel again. He spotted that play on top. That's going to be Graz. And he has an issue with Graz. He needs to be careful though because Graz has an issue with him also. Graz taking some huge shots. Going to force him to use all of his shields here. All that he has left is those minis. And I say all, but he's still got plenty of shields available to be fair. And now Graz really looking to force the issue. You can see the aggression dropping down here. Back to El Breezy. El Breezy, who we saw, he's uh, just breezing along, breezing by, right? Over to Re Pedro. Re Pedro here, who's going to be uh, also another zero limb player. It's really going to be uh, important that some of these guys, you know, start start maybe picking up some of limbs here, right? Maybe you take a fight or two, see what it is you can do. Repedger is not in the zone. And so uh, hopefully we can uh, see him get to the save zone at some point here. Eventually going to have to rotate in. Fortunately though, right, he is in the sand. And so if he chooses to, he can sit there, sand tunnel his way in for a quick and speedy rotation per se. M. Lally now, over to Slurpee. I believe M. Lally has got Slurpee uncontested, which is uh, really, really good. Because uh, when you, if you know, if you have Slurpee uncontested, there's so much loot there, as well as all the barrels, all the shields that are available. Now we see it, a fight breaking out. Luctiv X gonna be looking to make his mark on the lobby. Zero eliminations thus far, but I'm gonna try to change that as quickly as possible. Luxiv now with a nice shot with the lever action. Gonna be looking to do even more damage now. He knows, he knows what he's been able to do. He gets the wall now, trying to make his way into his opponent's box. Building all the way up on height here, looking to really just continue to control the pace of this fight. And yeah, you know, he knows he's on the big stream. He knows he's on the grand stage where everyone can see. So he's whipping out the dances, the emotes, the dances are coming through. The confidence is bolting through his veins right now. But he just needs to win this fight out. He needs to close it out. He can't afford to let the confidence get to his head. He needs to close things out. 50-50 breaks out. Now he's got to be careful. He's such low HP. He hits the final shot. And is able to win that fight. And so props to him. Luctive. We love to see it. Will we see more of that young man or woman? Who knows? Hopefully we can. Someone though. Is looking to uh, farm some wood here. Get the, get the mats up. Apologies here, guys. Just uh, sorting something out. Back to Graz. We saw Graz over towards uh, Sweaty Sands earlier. 
Now he's going to have to rotate in the zone out of Sweaty Sands. Try and make his way to the safe zone. He does have bandages though, so should be able to uh, make it into a safe zone and, you know, sort of replenish that health. You see Tyler Wren. Great name, by the way. Tyler Wren. Doing what I said uh, I'd, I'd love to see, right? Using the sand tunneling, making use of the sand to uh, just not even rotate in. He's just using it to chill, right? It's going to be really hard for anybody far away to spot him here in this position. El Breezy's there. We were watching El Breezy for quite a bit. And maybe El Breezy will hear this and uh, use that as a sign to, to exit. You can see Tyler has his eyes on El Breezy. But for what reasons? Does he want to take the engagement? Or is he just going to leave El Breezy to uh, wander off loot up? I do wonder how some of our Rocket League players are doing in this, right? They are pros in Rocket League. Will that skill translate over to Fortnite? Who knows? You can see here Pogdan in the mix right now. And this fight is looking very favorable for him. Oh my goodness. The elimination was stolen. The elimination was stolen. Pogdan was in the middle of a fight. And the player he was fighting just got sniped. And so he loses out. He's suspecting the bushes. He's looking for anywhere possible where somebody could be hiding in a position to steal the elimination away from him. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the elimination, but regardless, he will be able to profit from the loot. Regardless, though, good stuff from him. Two eliminations already thus far. GX Josh. Twitter GX Josh goes down. I saw GX Josh in chat. He was, he was hyping up. He was getting hyped. He was saying he was going to do well. Unfortunately, GX Josh has gone down. Unfortunately. My guy GX Josh in, 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 in the Wolves chat right now. Hopefully, in the next game, he'll be able to uh, bounce back, make his way up into that, you know, later stage of the game. But as of right now, he, uh, he has gone down. So we're tuning into Hobo, who is uh, rotating along Misty. Might find himself running into... Uh, this young man here, boy, who seems to be rotating out of the zone for reasons I cannot tell you why. Okay, turning around, opting to turn back around. Maybe they realize that uh, you want to be staying in that safe zone for the most part. For the most part, at least. No, he has his eyes set on Xenon, who uh, has no clue whatsoever. Pops not to take the fight. At this stage, deciding, hey, look, I don't want to take a fight right now. Right, maybe I take an engagement and, you know, somebody gets in the mix. We have third parties coming in left and right. I'm going to choose to just uh, focus on staying alive. At the end of the day, it is a battle royale, right? And the majority of the points, you know, are given out for, for later placement in the game. And so unless you are getting a crazy amount of elimination, which I don't think many people are so far, you do want to probably just opt to uh, stay alive for as long as possible. As you tune over here to Daniel. Daniel Low. I'm going to assume his name's Daniel. He does have the X replacing the A. But Daniel, he's got two eliminations or so. I believe that is a tied for the most we've seen on anybody yet that we spectated. He's done a great job. Made one of the stronger players in that. Oh, I, I, I think we all know why he's dancing, guys, right? I think uh, our boy Daniel's tuning into the stream. He's got to be careful, though, right? He doesn't want to lose his bearings. Once again, another wolf skin. I think we just got to put all the people with wolf skins on, right? I think that's that's only fair. Blitz, I envy. Look at this loot. Two eliminations to his name. Purple tactical shotgun. Purple assault rifle. This is a... Uh, life is looking good for him. All the shield he could possibly ask for. And now he has his eyes set on FNCS Zine and... But he's got to be careful because there are other players with the zone decreasing in size. Players are going to be forced to be a bit more compact, a bit more tucked into each other. And so things like this will happen. You know, I envy, Blitz I envy, he didn't even know this player was here. And he didn't know that player was there because he built right out in the open with no cover. And now Xenon, whoever that is on the hill there, is going to be able to... Uh, 
apply so much pressure, force Envy down, force him to use some of the, the shields I just praised him for having. As we tune over here to Zenon, yep, Zenon was that player on that hill. Looking to make a, make it a tough time for those guys. But now I think Zenon's actually, uh, he's got the right idea, right? He's trying to rotate in as early as possible. Take the best possible positioning he can. I think he wants to get to the tip of this mountain top and sit above. So he has view of the whole lobby. Gives him all the options in the world, right? Going further. Loyal Golf 205 310 has now decided it is time for him to rotate, make his way to the safe zone. And you can see him cutting his way in towards M M Misty, sorry. Sort of just white lining the zone, right? Just following that white line that the, the game provides for you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Loyal Golf. Takes a heap of damage as he's trying to rotate in, and that's going to slow him down. And this is actually Xenon who we talked about. Xenon looking to get in, and Xenon finishing the job. FNCS Xenon, he's looking like one of the front one runners to win out this whole lobby. He clearly knows what he's doing. Picks up an elimination there. And ruins the day of our boy. But look. This isn't over. Still 22 players left in this lobby. Triz is the one we are currently watching. And Triz now. Looking to farm up. He's got basically max mats. I think he wants to probably get some more brick. Max out the brick fully and... When it comes to the loot Triz has, he obviously has landed towards Hydro 16. Oh, he's eliminated the person who went to Hydro 16 because as you can see, he does have an RPG. Now, uh, fortunately for the rest of the lobby, he only has one rocket available. So he's only going to be able to take one shot with this. Graz in the elimination feed, picking up another. Graz, another one of those players who looks like a front runner. We saw him over at Sweaty earlier. But yeah, Triz, with that RPG... With a couple more rockets, maybe it'd be a really, really big deal. But ultimately, with just one shot with this RPG, not really going to be much he can do, right? It's, you know, his options are somewhat limited in that department. As we tune over here to Bran, Bran BBX. So I'm going to say Bran or Bron, either one. Re Pedro back. Can't forget your boy, Re Pedro. He's uh, he's impressed me relatively so far, right? Seems to have a good, a good grasp on what he's doing, right? Decent loot available. Looking to try get this. Uh, looking to try get the supply drop. What will he get from this? We will see. Maybe he's looking for that purple assault rifle. He does get a legendary compact SMG, which I'm sure he'll be happy with. So. Uh, Pedro is looking uh, looking good. Unless Lucktiv can pick up a snipe on him. Lucktiv with the sniper rifle in hand. Looking to try get Pedro out of the lobby. And I know what you're thinking. No. Not not Pedro Neto. Not, that, that's the wrong Pedro, guys. That's the wrong Pedro. This is re-Pedro. As we uh, continue things out here. Lucktiv, of course. Gonna flex on us with all the uh, all the emotes possible. Twitch bone 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 field picks up a little snipe there. And he picks up onto our boy Triz. And so now the chase is on, or is it? Because Triz opts to bounce his way out, try and get to safety. And I believe Bonafide or Bonefield, sorry, I keep wanting to say Bonafide. Bonefield might look to hit another snipe. Look, this guy is a. Uh, a prodigy with a sniper rifle in hand, clearly. And Boyozilla, who we saw earlier, is really cutting things close there. You saw how low his HP was. We're now going to use that med kit, replenish his health and bounce his way into the safe zone. Definitely cutting it close, we'll say that. 
And now needs to be careful because on the edge of the zone, on this backside of the zone, players will be holding him, stopping him from trying to come in, taking shots to prevent him from being able to rotate into the zone safely. And now running low on mats as well, it's going to get incredibly difficult for him. As we tune into vibes, he seemingly is vibing. He's got what you like, as the kids would say. I think his name is very representative of, of his state in the game right now. Right, He does seem to be vibing over there. You guys can see as the storm circle closes even more, all these players get closer and closer together. And eventually, fights will break out, right? Where players are low on materials, you know, as the resources thin. They gotta fight it out eventually at some point. And sometimes that might happen on their path to the safe zone. Because as you can see, this half in, half out zone is gonna really get difficult for some of these players who aren't in that safe zone. The ones who are, they will be smiling, they will be chuckling to themselves. But the ones who aren't may have a tough time here. Inside out now, sitting pretty on the high ground. That sniper rifle on hand. Triz needs to be careful. We've seen Triz getting a bit of trouble here, right? Obviously, now he has he's, he's he's shot the one rocket he had in the RPG. So that RPG is now useful. I mean, useless. Sorry. There is going to be no use for that RPG anymore. We saw him get sniped earlier. He was able to sort of recover. But will he be able to turn what was a or what is looking like a shambles game into a protect, potential victory out? Our boy Pedro again. We saw him get the compact SMG out of a supply drop. Will he be able to use that to get some eliminations? Bonefield, I know Bonefield's got some got some love in the chat. I saw somebody else earlier shout out to Bonefield. So we'll see what Bonefield's able to do. Bonefield's got seven eliminations so far. Seven eliminations, and I'm sure he's going to be looking to add some more to that tally. And as well as getting more eliminations, I'm sure everybody will just be wanting that victory royale. Luctiv picks up one on Whizpig. We saw what Luctiv can do. We saw what he can do earlier. And so now adding to that elimination count. This is what happened, guys. As the moving zones will begin, these players, these nine players will be forced to traverse through a moving zone all with each other. I say all with each other. They will be trying to take each other out. Do not get me wrong. Bouncer play comes out from Vibes. Vibes looking to bounce his way into a safe zone. And although it does look like he will get there comfortably, not very comfortably because I Envy was able to take a nice little shot, take a cracker in, but you see the same thing happens there to I Envy. Sand Bobo G. He is chilling on high ground now. The bouncer play comes through to propel him into the safe zone. I'd love to see him build back up and try reclaim height once again. Because the positioning that he had up there was sublime. You can see now inside out with that dragon's breath shotgun. The dragon's breath is going to be so strong. Going to be uh, Triz now making his way in into that safe zone. But on the journey to it, he's going to pick up an elimination on the way. Sambo Ruji, who we saw a second ago, he looked like he was doing so well, and now he's just out of the game completely. Pedro now using that compact SMG, trying to really gain on someone's box, force an elimination. He needs the materials out of it. Inside out now, going to be camping in the zone. And with all that chaos going on, it's going to give Mob. 302, the opportunity to somewhat claim height here. I think he's wary of the play in the zone. Really coming in to be a fawn in the side. I envy has done a great job so far, but with materials and builds running low, it's now time to make something happen. And he gets right into Triz's box and he takes Triz out completely. And the materials he gets from that 
will hopefully be enough for the rest of this because it's currently a 1v1 inside out versus INV and INV wins the game. Inside out goes down and we saw how crucial it was for him to get the extra mats right from that previous elimination. He wins out the game. GG's the first winner of the day. Three more games after this. Will he be in the top three by the end of it? to win himself his very own Wolves Fortnite jersey. We will see. Guys, what a game. What a game. I can't wait to see even more action. But before we get to the action, we're going to be going for a quick little break. So we'll see you guys shortly.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are back and we are going to get ready for another game, right? Last game, it was filled with action, right? It was filled with plenty of action. Um, we had Rocket League players playing. We had players from the first team playing, which I actually wasn't aware of, which we will be more aware of now. And so, you know, you got the chance to compete against some, you know, first team professional footballers. And we actually did watch some. Like I said, we will get into that um, in the next couple of games. But... In the meantime, right before we get to the games, I am pleased to be joined by an amazing professional Rocket League player. He goes by the name of Ricks. Ricks, my guy, how, how, how you doing? How was the first game for you, bro? Hey, hey uh, well, <laughs> I'm not too sure how badly I want to talk about this because it went quite awful. I messed up my landing, so I got killed just as I landed. It was a bit oh, sad, actually. <laughs> no. where, where, where did you try to land? Uh, Okay, so I'm not that good at Fortnite either. The map is like all uncovered for me, so I don't know where I'm landing. It was oh, some question no. marks. <laughs> so I put my markers over. I saw a lot of parachutes. I was like, okay, I'll go the opposite way. And yeah. I landed at some trees, and then someone was there. And uh, yeah, that's oh, the end of my story. Yeah. Well, look, you had a howl in the first game, but hopefully in the second game, you'll be able to, you know, get really into the mix. Um, Okay, of course, right? You, you aren't a Fortnite pro by trade, <laughs> which uh, we, we figured out. You play Rocket League. Tell me a bit more about that. Like, obviously, you play Rocket League. I don't know much about Rocket League myself, so you're going to have to, you know, really inform me here. Like, what's it like <laughs> to be a Rocket League pro? Okay, so Rocket League is basically just football with cars, right? You can fly in the air, do some tricks, just hit the ball, do your teammates and score some goals. <laughs> Um, how is it to be a Rocket League pro? Well, this is a lot of hard work, but it's also really fun to like compete in a game where there's like such a high skill ceiling. Like there is so much you can do and so much you can learn. It's almost the same as a Fortnite because with all these like building things and editing. And I, <laughs> I was watching the stream. I see people place down like I don't know what they're placing down, but they're it's going up and down. And there's a window here, window there, door. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, it is quite crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Look. Of course, as part of being a Rocket League pro, there's a lot of practice that goes into that, right? There's a lot of training, like you've got a coach, you know, there's, it's, it's hard work, right? It's not easy by any means. Um, is, 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 is this something you've been doing for a while? And like, what, did, what made you realize, hey, look, I want to get into competing in Rocket League? I uh, played the game since somewhere in 2015 or 16, actually. Uh, what made me realize I want to compete, I'm not sure. I was just playing for, because I enjoyed the game, I just wanted to get better. And then at some point I was like top 100 on the leaderboard, so I was like, okay, yeah, I guess I'm pretty good. <laughs> but I didn't know there was like any tournaments until I like met some uh, friends of mine that were playing in tournaments, and they basically uh, showed me like the world of esports and rock league, like all their tournaments here online, tournaments there. I played my first LAN in the Netherlands with these people. Well, after all this time, here I am. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Look, I, I, you know, you mentioned you're from the Netherlands, right? Um, is, is, is there like any any like professional football players that you pay attention to? Like, do you play much football in, in terms of the Wolves first team? Do you have like a, a favorite Wolves player? Uh, it's hard to name a favorite because, you know, they're all playing for Wolves, you know, going to be a fan <laughs> of all of them for sure. Uh, so the favorite player, I mean, the one that scores the winning goal, it's probably my pick. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. A, a, a cop-out answer there, but we'll let you get away with that for um, Look. Obviously, some of your other Rocket League teammates, they're playing today, right? And, and I do want to ask all of you guys this, but amongst the, the, the Rocket League players, who is the best Fortnite player? Who, who, who would you say? I thought it was going to be Ola, right? I was yeah. the 80th. Uh, I was placed 80th. So I died like at the start. He was yeah. placed 81st. He died oh, before me. So no. I, he has to step it up to get that title away from me now. Yeah, you, <laughs> by the end of this, we might be leaving and concluding that you are the best Rocket League Fortnite player. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <possibly. laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look, I I, I want to ask you a couple more things about Rocket League because I am really intrigued by that game, right? Like it, like you said, like it has such a high like mechanical skill ceiling. Um, is there like a specific like like how do you actually um, like learn in terms of like a tactical style, like going up against other pro teams? Like what's kind of you know what's the difference maker between top pro teams? Like what's kind of what separates you know the best team in Rocket League to like another top pro team? Oh, I think it all comes down to like um, synergy with the teammates, like that you all play with the same decision. Like if one person wants to play the midfield pass, that everybody accepts that that guy is going to pass and they're going to play for that. And even if it doesn't work out, that everyone still tried. And that there's like good communication and just good teamwork. I think that's the biggest differences. So is, is that the role that you play within your team? 
Well, I think it's everyone plays a role, really. Like, you just have to play with your teammates. Like, if they decide to do something, you just have to trust that they made the right decision and you just go full in for it. Yeah, makes sense. Look, I I, I did ask Abinio the similar kind of question, right? But outside of professional Rocket League, because regardless of what game you play, you know, playing a game professionally, it's a lot of work. Like, it takes a lot of time outside of the game. You know, what do you kind of do to relax, you know, kick back, enjoy your, your spare time? Uh, I like to watch some movies or some Netflix or just hang out with some friends. Well, of course, if Corona doesn't really work like that. So <laughs> maybe like I play some uh, like video games with them online now and just chill out in the evenings, have some rest, have some fun, have some laughs. So, okay, so so you play some video games outside of that. What, what, what is kind of your go-to game then outside of uh, Rocket League? It's probably like something like Valorant. It's kind of like shooters, Valorant, yeah, Call of Duty, yeah, yeah. those kind of things. Like yeah, a completely makes... different thing than uh, Rocket League. Yeah, it makes sense. I think I think that's good though to sort of uh, get get away from uh, of the of, of the main game or the game style that you play from. Look, good luck to you in the next couple of games. Right, you got a chance to bounce back, prove that you are the best Rocket League Fortnite player there is in all of Wolves. Um, <laughs> but yeah, good luck to you, man. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I believe we should be getting into the next game soon. Let me know, guys, in chat. Is there somebody you are rooting for? Is there somebody who you want to see win? I can let you guys know, right? You know, if you if you are a, a hardcore Wolves fan, you pay attention to Wolves, um, which I'm sure the majority of chat are that, exactly. Um, we do have three first-team players playing in this, right? That We did get the chance to watch some of them last game. I didn't even realise it. I feel kind of dumb now. Look, we have Max Kilman playing. We have Lewis Richards. And we have Meritan Shabani playing. All of these guys are playing, and when we do get a chance to watch them in game, I will get. I will let you know, right? I, I've I got a note of their IGN, so we will know when we are actually watching these players. Um, obviously, if you just watch the first game, right? When we were watching El Breezy, right? We watched El Breezy a couple of times. That was actually uh, Lewis Richard. So look, we 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 have the first team players in here. They're looking to to try claim a victory out for themselves. But of course, props to the people who did well in that first game. Um, and I believe we should be jumping in shortly. Uh, I think we the, the players are about to load into the battle bus, I believe. So hopefully we'll be able to get in soon. Guys, let me know who you're rooting for, who you're supporting, who are your kind of favorite players. From everybody though in chat, right? I do want to know one question. The answer to one question, one question, that's it. Who is your favorite player for Wolves? I want to know, who is your favorite Wolves player? I think for me, anytime I watch Wolves this season, the one player that really just that really just excites me, right? Pedro Neto. He's he's so talented. I don't know what it is. He just he's just electric to watch. And so I, I'll, I'll probably go him. Please don't do let me know, right? Who is your favorite Wolves player in the chat? As we are about to get into game, we are spectating now. I believe we're spectating Modine, but look, it looks like we're going to switch things up. We're going to switch across. We have uh, our boy Oli, right? He's a Rocket League pro. He looks like he's going towards Craggy Cliffs. Uh, last game, he had a bit of a howler. He had a bit of a nightmare. But hopefully this game, he will be able to turn things around. And he is going to be contested here at Craggy Cliffs. So this could get interesting. He, he's got his eyes on his opponents. He knows that he's not going to be the only person landing here. How will he tackle that, though? Who knows? We will find out shortly, though. Gonna land here towards the backside. You know, not at the main building. I think he saw the other players were going towards the main and now with a pistol and a dream, he must come out of this POI on top. Yours is Adama, Ruben Neves, Max Kilman. Max Kilman is competing today. When we when you guys see in game, right? If any of you guys see the name Maxi Mills, that is actually Max Kilman, and he is playing today. So hopefully we can get a chance to see him, see how he's doing. But uh, yeah, look, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great, you know, couple of games we have. We have, uh, including this game, we have three games left. And at the end of the day, right, we are all trying to get our hands. On a jersey, right? That's what that's what all these players are. All these players, if you come top three, you can get your hands on that Wolves Fortnite jersey. But if you're not playing and you still do want the jersey, you can actually purchase it for yourself. Exclamation point jersey in chat. You can uh, click on that link there and uh, purchase your own. Should be fun.
So we have the J1 Ram here. He uh, does have that sniper rifle. Only has one heavy ammo available. And so he's going to need to make this one shot count as best as possible. If he wants any chance. Who won last game? Last game was won by our boy Blitz. And Blitz won the last game. So hopefully we'll be able to see him do the double. Hopefully we'll be able to see him do the double. Who knows? Awesome Atom though, here in Holly. Oh dear. Oh dear. It be I believe one of our Rocket League boys has gone down. Oli in chat there, he, he said, well, dot, dot, dot. I think, I think we all know what that means. Unlucky Oli. Unlucky indeed. Don't worry, bro. You're, you're not the only one. Plenty of people have gone down in this stage. It looks like we have our actual uh, game one winner here. Blitz, I envy the winner from game one. We can see him might be getting himself into a bit of a, a pickle here. You need to be careful, though, as we swap over here to Alf over at Salty Towers. Demon JS, he's going in right now. He takes out Minty and he's gonna dance on him. No respect whatsoever. Just gonna dance. And uh, do his thing. Look, if you have gone down, it's fine. You just gotta get back to the drawing board, figure out what went wrong and head into the next game and try and do better. There are still two games after this one. So do not worry, do not fear. Evoke picks up an elimination. Bonefield, who we saw, or Bonfield. I keep saying, bro, I don't know why I want to say Bone so much. Bonfield picks up elimination. We saw him picking up a bunch of eliminations last game as well. TTV Dat Bay. That's a bay. That's a bio. Hope I'm saying that right. He uh, has lured himself up a, a decent amount. Materials, not looking too bad, not looking too amazing. 56 builds. Will be enough to get him through a fight if he does indeed find one. Sand Bobo G. He was somebody who we saw in the later stages of last game and it looked like he was doing so well. But unfortunately, right, wasn't able to uh, clean things out. Xenon in the elimination feeder. He takes out Rufy boy. Now, Sambo BG is going to actually be forced out of Sweaty completely here. He's swimming away as uh, people are taking shots. I envy the winner of the first game. Guys, in chat, let me know. Do you think I envy will be able to do the double? Will he win back-to-back -back games? Please let me know in chat right now if you think he can do it. I am a believer. I am indeed a believer. Right now, his loot's not looking too great. And so you will have to get some eliminations to upgrade. A full uncommon loadout is not great whatsoever. Maybe he will be able to fish something up. What will he get here? Oh, we will not find out. I can see Lucktiv in chat saying hopefully not. Is Lucktiv, is Lucktiv still up? Lucktiv, we saw you last game, mate. What's going on? You're in the Twitch chat, you're not in game? Did you go down, sir? Did you go down, Triz? He was a huge part of last game. Triz basically handing I Envy the victory out, right? Once I Envy took down Blit, Triz, sorry, that basically helped him secure the win. Lewis P. Lewis P, guys, this is actually a Rocket League pro. Our boy Lewis, who's a Rocket League pro. Wait, <laughs> no. say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Ricks. The Rocket League pro we had just interviewed gets absolutely rinsed. Oh no, he doesn't. He doesn't get rinsed. He rinses his Rocket League teammate. In Lewis, 
and now Lewis is is back to the lobby, and the L dance come through. Oh dear, oh dear, Lewis, my friend, you've had an absolute nightmare. Get back in the lobby. Enjoy your evening. Ricks, I think Ricks is now accomplished. I think now that in itself is a victory royale to him. He will be pleased with that one. As you swap over here to Rui Pedro, he's going to look to Santon all his way in. Come on, Ricks, you're the last one left. Ricks is indeed the last Rocket League pro left. It's all on his shoulders. It is all on his shoulders now. To try and uh, try and do it for the Rocket League boys. For all the Rocket League boys out there. He's trying to do it for them. I have been eliminated off Spawn Eleven. I think it's curtains for me. Josh GX. Unlucky, my bro. Unlucky, unlucky. It happens, it happens. There's still two games left. Two games to uh two two back to back Tony Lim victory royales. I can see it, bro. You got this. You have got this. If Ricks goes down, I go down. Oh dear. Ricks, there's a lot of pressure on you, boy. There is indeed a lot of pressure. Do not mess this up, boy. Do not mess this up. JSV, who we saw earlier getting a bunch of limbs, continuing on that trend. And Grasdo goes down. But Bonfield, who we've seen be uh, a consistent player in this game, right? Like, he's just been consistently involved in the action. Melon Lime. I'm dancing for the stream, I see. Don't Make sure you don't get taken out as a result of you dancing, brother. You don't want that to happen. Just now we've seen the elimination feed. I saw my boy INV pick up an elimination. We said that that would need to happen, right? We said that in order for him to really uh, get a fitting on this game, he'd have to get a couple of eliminations because his loot, his loot was looking poor to say the least. So uh, now he's going to be able to uh, actually get himself involved in the game. Guys, you can see that there. You see who that is? Maxi Mills. That is our boy. That is our boy, Max Kilman. Max Kilman, first team player for Wolves, is now in a bit of a fight now. He hits a nice little shot there, but he takes some damage himself. Will our boy, Max Kilman, be able to survive this one? It looks like he's been saved almost because a third party gets in. A third party does get involved. And so now that gives time for our boy Max to really potentially maybe stay alive. You can see him all the way at the bottom there with such low HP. Does he have any sort of shields or anything that he can use to, to stay up? I do not know. I'm hoping we can swap over here to, to our boy Max Kilman. Because I do want to see if he's going to be able to survive this one. He was such low HP there on the bridge. Ah, swapping over him to here. You can see down below. Max Kilman, my guy, you're going to have to get out of this one somehow. I don't know how. He's a great defender. But at what point will he no longer be able to defend himself in this situation? Because honestly, you know, there's not much you can do here, right? Not the best weaponry. No shields, no heals to get yourself back up. He can hear the fighting breaking out above him and he's seeing the loot drop. Maybe it's just going to be, you know, the best option for him to just sit here and hide. Oh no. Oh no. It's me, MJ, finds him. And although he's a great defender in real life, Max Kilman will not be able to defend himself there. He goes down, back to the lobby for him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Lamacy Dow, going to have to get his way into the safe zone. Inside out as well. Oh no, guys. Oh no. I just saw an elimination feed. Ricks goes down. 
Our boy Rix, the last Rocket League pro left. He gets taken out and so it's not looking like a good night for the Rocket League boys, I'll be honest. All the Rocket League boys go down. <laughs> One of them actually got taken out by his own teammate. That's oh dearie me. Rocket League is uh, not having a good night in Fortnite, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. Oh dear. JSV12 is going on an absolute tear. He saw INV win last game and he said, I want a piece of this. I want to know what it feels like to get a victory out in the Wolves Fortnite Cup. But INV is still up and he's going to be looking to uh, stop that from happening at all costs. Over here to all steamy. This looks like where the game is probably going to end. Rick is in chat. He said, I gave Lewis the L. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. It was a close fight between the two. It was a close fight between the two, but I think the better player came out on top. You know, maybe I'm a bit biased, but I do think the better player came out on top of that fight. As we swap over back towards Pedro now. Pedro lasted quite a long time last game. Oh dear, Bonfield goes down. So many players who were doing well last game have gone down, you know? A new set of players have sort of come in, looked to, to make a difference, make a change, put their names into that conversation. And they've done a good job so far. Inside Archie, though. Now going to be in a fight with JSV. And he doesn't know who he's coming up against. JSV has been easily one of the strongest players in this lobby. He's taken out everybody, it feels like. He's gone on an absolute tear every single time. And now Archie messing his edits up. Now he just needs to hit the shots. Because ultimately, JSV can build and do all this fancy editing stuff. But if he can't hit the shots that Archie can hit, it won't matter. Archie now 44 HP left, he takes JSV down. Oh my goodness. He has made me eat my words. He takes JSV down and oh boy, JSV. He's played that all wrong there. He goes down and what was looking at one of the stronger players in the entire lobby is now back to the lobby. Oh dear. GG's I throw. Yeah, JS, JS, bro, you, you, you've had a, you've had a howler there, man. You've had a howler there. I'll be honest, but there is always next game, guys. After this game, we have uh, two games left, and so you will have an opportunity to jump back in and uh, get a chance to 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 to, to really uh, get a victory out. Right, that's all. That's all you want at the end of the day, right? You want to get in there, get a victory out, and you do want a jersey as well. And so, if you are someone like me. Who uh, wanted the jersey? Exclamation mark jersey in the chat on Twitch. You'll receive a link to where you can go purchase a jersey for yourself. And as well, you can get the jersey in game, right? Obviously, it's available in the in game item st store. Sorry. So if you want to rep it in game, rep it in real life, you can. Vibes now, a fan favorite. Saw a bunch of people showing love to Vibes in the Twitch chat. What can Vibes do though in this one? You can see now Vibes trying to do his best to get in FIFA Fred though. Figured out the game he was playing, but ultimately it's not going to matter because Vibe cleans him out rather quickly as well. Absolutely zero regard. Great stuff all around from Vibes. Maybe we can see Vibes come out on top here. Look, we need to pay attention to this. I envy the winner of last game. He's come out. And he's looking to do the double. 
13 players left. He's sitting so comfortably above. Let's see what IMV can do, man. He, he might be able to come through and really shake things up. Two wins back to back in the Wolves Fortnite Cup. That is an accomplishment. I'll tell you that much. That is no easy task by any means. As you can see, across the lobby, many players trying to do their best to get in here. Cookie Bad, someone who is in. Sitting rather comfortably there. Pedro as well. He's going to be rather comfortable. INV picks up another elimination onto Lamacy. INV's gone on an absolute tear, man. He's gone on an absolute tear. INV snipes Pedro. That's going to be Pedro back to the lobby. Oh my goodness. I envy you bad, bad man. How are you able to do this time after time? He is definitely looking to pick up the victory out. I envy is just amazing. I don't know what to say. It's a lot, he's left me lost for words. Like, I, I don't know how to describe what it is he is doing right now. But I think Archie's heard me giving all this praise to I Envy and he says, take a look at me. I am also an incredibly talented player. Archie picks up on the limb now. A great use of the bouncer there to get up and close that fight out. We saw Inside Out doing so well last game. Looking to try to replicate that now again. He's positioned himself well in this 50-50 zone. And you can see here, best fragger, Zifty, has tried to do the same. Zifty now. Chilling down below. He's going to try play ahead of the zone. Make his way in and just, you know, sit there comfortably. Vibes also looking to get inside. Vibes goes for the little bouncer play. Diverse. Chilling behind him. He heard the bouncer and so maybe he'll look to find it and bounce his way in on, on his own. I think he does have his own bouncer. Yep, he does have bouncers for himself, but... It'd still be nice to recycle some vibes, take some damage on his way into the safe zone. And he's not necessarily in yet, so... Vibes has got to uh, start to speed up a bit as he now has his eyes set on crossing the river. He needs to cross the river to get into zone if he wants any chance of getting a victory. Uh, now the bouncer play comes in, but the server spray comes in as well. Inside out takes Vibes out. That was not the right rotation at all. And inside out sitting all the way above here. With the RPG, we talked about the RPG last game. It wasn't as effective last game, right? There was only one rocket available. Four rockets to spare. That is a significant amount. You have to remember though, I Envy is still in this game. And he's using bandages to get his HP up. This is a story of I Envy versus Inside Out. Because Inside Out with the, with the RPG is going to just be able to dominate the lobby so easily apply so much pressure to people if need be it's up to the rest of the people in the lobby to make things harder zifty goes down to archie and inside out needs to start paying attention to all these players he sets his eyes on jxc but opts to just prioritize the rotation which i think is a smarter choice but look who's up above i envy from out the gutter, from out the mud. He looks to try and make his way into the zone. And into the top of the standings. In first place in the first game. Looking to replicate that now. Inside out though, needs to maybe figure out how he can prioritize some of these eliminations. Archie goes down to JXC. And so now, with, <laughs> with INV versus inside out. I talked about it only a couple seconds ago. In a 1v1 to win. The second game of the day, will I envy be able to get the Lil back to back? Inside Out still has the RPG, bear in mind. He still has the tools necessary to win this game out, but I envy is just looking so strong. Six eliminations already to Inside Out's three. The build fight starts. I envy looking to try to connect to some shots. 
Inside Out does a great job though, of slowing things down. The RPG comes out, not able to do anything significant. IND bounces his way into zone, looking to try and hold out Inside Out. And it gives him a moment to maybe try to build up. IND drops him down. Inside out down to his final bits of HP. He does have the shields, but not looking to make use of them. And so I envy will pick up the second game in a row. This man has done it back to back. He's done the double. He's gotten himself a brace. I don't whatever you want to say. Two games in a row. Two victory L's for my guy I envy. What an absolute monster. Who can stop this man? Who can stop him? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out later on. And we'll find out right after a break. Stay with us.
And we're back. We are back. And uh, we're ready for the rest of the games, right? Two games have gone by. I envy. He's, 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 he's dominated. I'll be honest. Two back-to-back -back wins. That's not an easy feat, right? It takes a lot of skill. And uh, fortunately, right, for my next interview, I have somebody who, you know, knows what it means to have a lot of skill. We have a professional FIFA player, Fafilza. He's he's here to talk to me right now. How you doing, my friend? Hello, oh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh, How are you no. doing? It's a pleasure to have you, right? It's a pleasure to have you. Obviously, um, you know, I, I play a lot of FIFA. I'll tell you what, FIFA is 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 it's very hard. It's very hard to play. Um, it can be very frustrating, very hard on the mental at times, you know. How 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 do you stay in the game at all times? How do you keep yourself cool when, when competing at the highest level of FIFA? Yeah, as we say, we pro players say it's the mental is like fifty percent of your skill in the game. So need to be focused you need to speak to yourself sometimes like saying okay i'm i'm not tournament right now i need to focus on this uh the rest of the world is the rest of the world so it needs to be in the time and i think the this guy ian v is doing this right now he's winning two in a row so yeah he's doing a nice job yes clearly obviously like you said envy he, he clearly understands that right being able to stay calm stay focused on the goal um of course, right, I, I spoke to Abinio earlier, right, about some FIFA-related things. And I do want to get some, some of, like, your opinions on things regarding FIFA, right, because that is your main game. Um, you know, like, how, how do you feel about the game, right? Obviously, with coronavirus, a lot of co competition this year is online, right? Is, uh, is competing online versus competing, you know, at LAN, at a tournament, you know, what's, what's the kind of difference like that? Do you feel like you do better, you know, at an actual tournament or, or better online? Yeah, so for me, I prefer to to compete in the offline event. I think it's more easy to show who you are. I mean, online you can have a lot of internet issues. That's not only the big point, but I mean, online for me it's better. And your mental when you're playing on, offline, sorry, your mental when you're playing there, it, it needs to be stronger and you need to have a good preparation during the week. And I remember doing this in the in my most important tournaments. So uh, I, I really hope that the offline events come quick because I don't like playing online tournaments that much. Trust me, no matter what game it is, nobody likes on, on online. Everybody wants to play offline, play in the stadium, in the in an offline scenario. Look, I want to know from you, right? You said preparation is so important. What kind of goes into preparation for you? Like as a top FIFA player, how do you prepare for these tournaments? When I was looking to prepare myself to the E World Cup in back in 2019, uh, I was I have a a routine, you know. I eat in a certain time, always breakfast, always lunch, always dinner, and I went to the gym, went to some pool. Uh, watching my games, seeing what can I change, what can I do, watch some other pro players' games. So my mind is always, when I'm trying to prepare myself, it's always on the game, it's always on feeling good with me, and also the, the partnership with all the guys from Wolves. Uh, Ebinho also was there, so uh, this all of this helped to have a good preparation for these big tournaments offline. Yeah, that sounds great. Like you really got a structure going there, like paying attention to your diet, studying other people's games is a is a real big part of just being able to improve and refine your game. Um on a, on like a, a you know sort of smaller scale, I'd guess, right? Obviously, people that play FIFA, you'll know the weekend league exists, right? And not many people seem to be a fan of the weekend league anymore. It can yeah. be infuriating. Like I've stopped playing weekend league now. I can't play. I just get too angry. Um, you know, do you still play weekend league a lot? How do you do in there? Any 30 and O's? Like what, what happens in weekend league for you? Yeah, I try to play every weekend league. Sometimes I can't finish. Yeah, but my my goal is all, it's always to finish the weekend league. But yeah, now it feels, it feels weird to play. I mean, in past years, it was different, but now yeah, I'm like, okay, I have to play weekend league. But yeah. I, I do prefer to play against my friends, you know, be ready for tournaments. I think that this is more important than playing weekend league. And yeah, you just play weekend league if you want some rewards and I don't know, fun, let's say. <laughs> Uh, uh, calling weekend league fun is uh, is not the the easiest yeah. of things to be fair, but um, you do want to try have a bit of fun in it. Look, I do, I do want to say to you, right? Like, obviously, you know, you play FIFA, you compete all the time, and I've been asking everyone this: like, outside of FIFA, you know, what do you kind of do 
um, in your spare time to keep yourself your your, your mental there and, and and to just you know sort of enjoy life i'd say so yeah with this corona thing right now i i enjoy a lot of staying home i'm used to it so i i, I like to watch some tv series i'm really addicted to this you go favorite also, show? yeah i have i'm watching smallview right now which is really good Oh, nice. So yeah, I also play other games to spend my time, but the most important thing is to get ready for tournaments while I'm, I'm at home uh, and being focused in the, in the in the season, which is in the still in the middle, so we have a lot of work to do. So, but for now, I I really like to be in home. Yeah, I think uh, everyone has had to get used to being at home and being able to cope with being at home. One final question for you. I want to get this from almost everyone I speak to. Do you have a favorite Wolves player for the oh. first team, the football first team? Do you have a, do you have a favorite right, player? For the official team, you mean Premier League? Yeah, team. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd say Adama Traore because he has a picture with my father, so oh, <laughs> it's wow. gonna be yeah. him. Yeah, that's that sounds sick. Well, yeah. it's been a pleasure speaking to you, bro. Good luck in all of your tournaments, this year in FIFA. Thank you. It was a pleasure and, uh, too. Yeah, it's been great having you. Good luck, man. See you soon. See you. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, what, what a class guy. What a class guy. Absolutely class. Be sure to uh, support him. I'm sure like his social medias will be available. Um, great FIFA player, of course. And I think, you know, with, with all of these, right, being able to speak to Rocket League pros, FIFA pros, what you'll find like is that a lot of it is similar in terms of like preparation, all of these things. Like, there's so many similarities across games because all these things, the Rocket League and the FIFA players have been saying, all of them apply to Fortnite as well. And of course, a lot of you will be Fortnite players. So you can definitely learn from this. I believe we are close to being able to get into game, right? So hopefully we'll be able to uh, get in soon. Um, yeah, we, it looks like we are loading in. Um, hopefully, we'll be on the battle bus soon. I do want to remind you guys all again. Give me a sec. Let me let me reach out for it. I want to show it to you guys. I have my very own Wolves Fortnite jersey here. Take a look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's just like the one in game, isn't it? Beautiful stuff. If you want to get your own, your very own Wolves Fortnite jersey, you can purchase it from the Wolves store. The link will be in the chat. If you type exclamation mark jersey, it should provide you a link where you can purchase your very own. Trust me, you want to get one. You do want to get one. I love mine and uh, I'm sure you'll love yours as well. As well as being able to wear the actual jersey in real life, right? You can actually, you know, wear it in game as well. You can rock it in game, rock it in real life. You know, a bit of a, 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 a double there. So uh, that should be fun. Be sure to get yourself a jersey. They are great. I can assure you that one. Looks like we actually will be getting into game. Right now, I believe the players are in the battle bus. And so we will be able to show you guys what's going on off spawn. Let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens. I believe, you know, we are going to be able to tune in straight away to our boy El Breezy. El Breezy. Now, we saw El Breezy a bunch in the first game. We are finally getting to see him again. If you're wondering who El Breezy is, El Breezy is actually first team player Lewis Richards. So you can see him here rocking that, that jersey. He's rocking the wolf skin in game and let's see let's see if uh, he can uh, show us what he got what he's got sorry in uh in fortnite look i believe lewis richards is uh 19 years of age 19 years of age and so um young very young guy right just just a year older than me and so uh, fortnite definitely gaming itself is you know something that i'm sure i'm sure he'd be very good at and so look he did do a decent job in the first game. I don't believe we saw much of him in the second game. Third game, time to shine. Time to shine for him. Maxi Mills, we already talked about this last game, right? This is actually Max Kilman. I know a bunch of you guys are saying that you, you, you love Max Kilman. And, and this is him, right? He's going to be landing towards Catty Corner. He's not got the best of drops. So uh, I am a bit worried about his chances of surviving a spawn because it looks like he's about to land at a building where someone's landed. Oh no, Max. Oh no, Max. Max, no. Max. Max, you need to get out of there, brother. Max. Is that big... <laughs> Wait, what's going... what's going on here? What is going on here? Okay, well, look, Max has survived. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. He's not gonna be able to loot up. Oh dear, I've spoken way too soon. Vibes, you have just taken out Max Kilman. Oh dear. Max Kilman goes down at the hands of Vibes. That is incredibly bad, Vibes. Unlucky. 
he spared Max. It does seem like he did spare Max. Our boy Ricks, Rocket League Pro Ricks, zooming away in that vehicle there. If you guys are paying attention to the elimination feed, I Envy is picking up a bunch of eliminations. Guys, let me know in chat, right? Do you think I Envy will be able to do the triple? Will he get a treble? Three victory royales. Do you think he can do it? Yeah, un unlucky there from Max. Max does go down in that early game. Hopefully we'll be able to see more of Lewis Richards though. And as well as Lewis Richards, there is M Shabani, right? Meritan Shabani, first team player. He's also playing in this. I don't believe we've seen much of him. Oh dear guys, Oli. Oli goes down in the elimination feed. Oli's had a bit of a, a nightmare today, right? I feel like Oli's gone down early every single game. I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on. I'd love to get the chance to speak to Oli. I think we will speak to Oli soon and really, really find out what's going on with him because he's not had a good time whatsoever. He keeps going down way too early. But there is still a final game. So after this one, there is still going to be a final game where he can prove that he is a... A great Fortnite player. Liam Wolves 2003. Look at this. You love you know, I I love to see this. Oh dear, Rix has gone down as well. All the Rocket League players are going down, it seems. Rix goes down. What I wanted to say is I love to see people repping Wolves in their name, right? Supporting your football club, you know, putting it in your name. You can see Demon JSV12. That is Josh. He said I should he, he was in chat. He said I should call him Josh from now on. Um he said I should call him Josh from now on, and he's uh, he's done a job. He's done a job. Done a job in the elimination feed. Drops to him. All right, just uh, making sure everything's in order. Vio is picking up even more eliminations. Ricks, what's gone? What's happened, Ricks? You've gone down. How's that happened, bro? How has that happened? I see Ricks in the chat there. Look, at the end of the day, it's a battle royale. People go down all the time. You just have to deal with it. But as long as there's still a game left, you can get back to the drawing board. You know, figure something out, whip up some sort of new trick, some sort of new tactic. That's going to help you make your way all the way to the end game. GX Josh goes down, unfortunately, at the hands of Triz. And Triz, to be fair, he's not necessarily won any game. Nobody else other than I Envy has, but he definitely has been a, a key part of this, these lobbies. <laughs> I sat in a car with someone and he chased me down. <laughs> oh, Ricks. Oh, no. Oh, dear, Ricks. That is not what you like to see at all. Well, maybe next game. Maybe next game you can amend your mistakes. That definitely does sound like one. Okay, look. We have uh, 50 players still left alive. 30 players have gone down. And of these 50 remaining, I believe INV is one of them. And uh, if, I'm, if I'm anybody in this lobby... That's who I want to deal with. Get INV out of here. He's won two games already. Can we stop him from winning a third? That is the ultimate question for a lot of these guys here. Boyozilla says he got pushed by a guy. He didn't even do any damage to him. You, my friend, have been W keyed. Unfortunate. Unfortunate scenes. INV's found himself in a fight here. Looking to play it safe, though. He wants to get back to the end game. He's making his way on out. Bouncing his way on out. He needs to be careful that he doesn't fall in the air there as he uh, glides through the sky. Players taking shots. Can we stop this mad lad? I do not know if he can be stopped, my friends. I do not know if he can be stopped. He's done such a great job thus far. Can he be stopped? Who knows? Who really knows? Because... Uh, He's done a job. I'll tell you that much. He's done a job. 
Is Lewis, Rix, can you confirm to me if uh, if Louis, or, uh, I feel like I'm saying that wrong. If he, is, is Louis, is Louis still up? Is he still up? Is he still alive? Okay. Well, there is hope for Rocket League in this Fortnite game. There is still hope. Will he be what Rocket League needs? He has, to, he has the weight of the Rocket League scene on his shoulders right now. Liam Wall's 2003 does go down. Unfortunately, my guy, Liam Wall's will go down. Old Gold Wolverhampton Wanderers FC goes down as well. All the guys who are repping Wolves in their Fortnite name do go down. Unfortunately, Wizpig goes down to four damage, which is really unfortunate. Zifty, we saw Zifty in the end game last game. Looking to take out, is that Dino Wolves? Oh dear. Look at the strats here. He's a... But you can clearly see, right? People are taking this cup very seriously. You know, you want to win. You want to be. You want to be able to say, "I competed in the Wolves Cup and I won a game." In a, in a lobby field with professional Rocket League players, with professional football players, first teamers, I won a game. I want to be able to say that. Does look like we are gonna be going all the way. Oh, look!
Oh, wait. Oh, hey, I'm back, guys. Don't worry. I'm back. Hey, I'm here. Hello. Hey. Back like I never left. Okay, so, in that period of time, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. A lot has changed. I believe Rocket League's only hope did indeed go down. So, uh, unfortunately, Rocket League is indeed in the mud, as they say. But there is one final game for them to get back in things. Here we have Alice. Alice VC24 looking to make their mark on the game. Looking to sneak in behind this box here. The Melon Lime's got their eyes set on the prize and Alice goes down. Unfortunately, Alice does go down there. Unfortunate, unfortunate stuff. You could see the vision, you could see the idea. But the execution was not successful. And so now... We swap on over here to LCFC2004, who is uh, coned up, sitting up in their cone, eyeing out the rest of the lobby, seeing what's going on. Bonfield doing a great job. Lamacy goes down, unfortunately. We saw Lamacy go down to INV this game. I do wonder where INV is. Can check. Can someone update me? INV is still up, right? INV has not gone down. Is the, is, is the treble on the cards, guys? Is the treble on the cards for I Envy? Hat trick victory royale. I think there is potential for I Envy to do the treble. Three victory royales here. Oh my goodness. Look at this man repping that Wolves kit in the game. Right. You can see the Wolves logo on his back there. He has five eliminations already. Already he has five eliminations. And I'll be honest, guys. I think I think we're going to see a hat trick of Victor Royales for this young man. I do believe we're going to see it. Oh, my. The dance coming through. I envy. What a player. What a player he's been. Will he be able to have the levels of composure, right, that come with uh, trying to close out your third game in a row? Will he? I don't know. But he might do. Hobo. Hobo says, I almost had him. Got him down to 65 HP, but only had a grey lever action. Unfortunate. Many people have tried to finish off, to deal with our boy INV, but not many have succeeded. None have succeeded today. And so, with just one game remaining after this game, will somebody be able to dethrone him? I don't know. I do not know. I think it's very likely that he wins his third game in a row, but there are some strong competitors Josh is still up looking for, you know, retribution. Looking to make up for the mistakes made last game. Obviously, Vibes is still up. Everybody loves Vibes. You can see in chat there, Vibes may have the dub. Everybody seems to love Vibes. But I Envy is most definitely the favourite going into this one. How can he not be? Bonfield picking up more eliminations. I Envy now going to rotate in. A very cheap rotate. He's not having to spend a lot of mats here. Josh has got to be careful. 
as Vibes does have his eyes set on him. Oh no, I believe that was Triz actually, my bad. Triz now though, when he use that bouncer to rotate his way into the zone. Blitz INV is winning four out of four, or if not, Max Kilman to win one. Would you not love to see Max Kilman win one? I think I'd love to see that, guys. If we could get either M Shabani, Max, Kil Max Kilman, or El Breezy winning the game, that would be fantastic. Bonfield, though. Looking to take the fight to high envy in Bonfield, who had picked up so many eliminations prior, isn't able to take out high envy. I cannot stress enough, guys. This man cannot be stopped. We have seen what Bonfield... Bonfield was looking like one of the strongest players in the lobby. Bonfield had picked up a ton of eliminations. But even he cannot stop INV. INV is looking to do it again. He wants to win the third game in a row. What other first team players? I believe it is just those three. I believe it is just those three who will be playing. Vibes. Vibes in a fight now. It's going to be do or die for him here. Needs to be careful. Cannot allow for his builds to be taken. Needs to retain control of these edits. Look at the positioning from I Envy. Sitting perched up so high above the vision he has on everybody else. Vibes now. Will he be able to take this player out? That's going to be Sid LFF. Who goes down. And now Vibes goes down to LCFC 2004. Vibes a fan favorite actually going down there. And now the man who took Vibes out is going to go down to Triz. Triz now looking to get in. And he's not able to. Too much pressure being applied. And look who took him out. I envy. I envy. Taking out Melon Lime as well. This man cannot be stopped. Eight eliminations. Five players left. He's got the RPG. Just one rocket left though. How will he choose to use it? Ultimately, it won't even matter because he's just dominating the lobby regardless. He needs to be careful because there's a player behind him. So he cannot afford to not protect his all angles. Now bounce into that front side of the zone. Looking to hold players in. Harry now on that backside. He knows it's going to be difficult. The RPG coming through is going to apply so much pressure. I don't he needs to be careful he doesn't lose control here. The bouncer player comes in. He's so aware of the zone at all times. Always making sure that he's able to get to the front side. So he can turn back and hold players in. JSV12. Our guy Josh who's been in the chat. He's now looking to... Really get into the mix. Three players left. 1v1v1. A build fight is breaking out now. The bouncer player comes in. I envy finally finding himself below here. For one of the first times, not in a good position whatsoever. He's only got two builds left. This is actually getting really dicey for our boy I envy. It's going to be really hard for him to win out this one. He's looking to break things down. And Josh does a great job. Another bouncer coming through. That's going to be I envy's last one, realistically. He's got no builds left. And I think Josh realizes this. And so Josh is going to take the fight to I envy. But I envy still wins. And I envy now with a 1v1. And he still wins with zero materials from out the gutter. Three wins back to back to back. I don't know how he does it every single time, but the shots come through and he's able to win. What have I just seen? I cannot believe my eyes. I, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. He might just be the best player. Oh my God, guys, you need to give me a second. We're going to go to a break and we'll be right back to just try and comprehend what we've just seen. Oh, wow.
guys, we're back. I've calmed down. I've calmed down. I've been able to process things now. You know, I finally, you know, register in my brain. And even with me being able to calm down and register things, I am just still in awe of what we've just seen. And uh, somebody who's been competing in today's games, who we've had the pleasure of watching at times, um, I, I referred to him last game as of the saviour, the potential saviour of uh, Rocket League in the Fortnite scene. Our guy Lewis P here. Lewis, how, how, how you doing, brother? How, how you feeling after these games? Mm, not the best, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, you'll see what what happened. And yeah, I, I tried my best. Yeah, Lewis, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie, Lewis, right? Obviously, we watched you in game two. You got into a bit of a fight versus Ricks, and uh, Ricks came out on top. What, what happened there? What, what happened? I was very low in HP, and yeah, I it was a bit weird because we we knew like we were close to each other, but but we 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 didn't know where we were. We were oh, yeah, we were, and I was like, oh, he's there. I I started to shoot, but he I was very low, and yeah, shot, just a a shot of a shot a shotgun, and yeah, I was I was dead. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it did end rather quickly. Look, obviously you guys are all teammates at the end of the day, um, and I'm sure you're all very competitive. It's been great fun. Obviously going into this so far, right, I believe you guys all said that Oli was probably the best Fortnite player out of all of you guys. After the first three games, are you still going to go with him? I'm disappointed, to be honest. I, I, I thought he was the best, but... Looks like Rex is the best, to be honest. Maybe me, yeah. I don't know, but not uh, Oli. Definitely not Oli. Yeah, yeah. Def definitely not early after that. Um, look, Rick seems to have the edge here in Fortnite. I'm sure, you know, you'll give him a run for his money in uh, um, Rocket League. Look, on the topic of Rocket League, right, you're obviously a competitive player. You compete. How long have you been competing for? Like, when did you realize that it was going to be, you know, time for you to start competing in Rocket League? I started competing around 2018, like in Spanish leagues and Spanish tournaments, but like maybe a bit professionally, um, maybe like six months ago, more or less. Six months ago, wow. So, it's, you know, it's yeah. still, you know, it's still been a short period of time. Um, yeah. Pardon me. Obviously, being someone who's competed for um, less time than well, when we spoke to Rick, he said he's been competing for a bit longer, but. You know, coming into the scene, sort of how have you sort of propelled yourself into a position now where you are playing for a team like Wolves um, and, you know, you've, you've got respect within the Rocket League scene. How, how have you sort of propelled yourself into this position? I mean, I'm just always trying to get better. With Wolves, we had a lot of practice, a lot of replay analysis. And yeah, until now, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing special. I want to say, right, like in terms of like, Obviously, spending a lot of time committed to actually competing and, and, and studying and trying to improve your craft, right? Like, out of, you know, once we come out of lockdown, because obviously, if you've been competing for six months, right, the majority of your competitive time has been playing online competition, I'd assume, right? My bad. Uh, my mom no, no, no. into my room. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, well, I was just saying, like, you sprint. The majority of your time, you know, your professional career in Rocket League, right? Um, playing online competition. Are you are you looking forward to being able to compete on LAN going forward? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, it, it would be a dream come true. To be honest, I've always like dreamed to 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 get an RCS to compete in LAN, and yeah, I hope so. <laughs> we'll keep keep working on keep improving. You'll get there. Um, outside of Rocket League, right? Outside of competing at the highest level in Rocket League, is there uh, anything that you you know? Is there anything that you um, do outside of the game? Are there any games you play? Any hobbies you have? Pretty much like playing other video games, like to chill out of Rocket League. Maybe I, I usually play chess, also Clash Royale, and yeah, nothing nothing more to be honest. A, a chess grandmaster, maybe one day, one day, maybe soon. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. But well, I'm I'm, tr can, I'm trying to get better as well in chess. You can, you can hope and dream, maybe. Um, yeah. Look, it's 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 a it's been a pleasure being able to talk to you, right? Obviously, right? You know, you you know, you got the Wolves jersey. I, I know you're you're one of the people that had them. Like, how how you feeling? Like, oh, got it all way around. How, rate rate the jersey out of ten. Oh, I think it's a nine. It's a nine. Not a ten, but a nine. I'm pretty decent. I like it. Uh, I, I'll go over ten. Guys, be sure to pick up your own, of course. You can get one yourself as well. Um, look, you actually are somebody who... Sorry. Okay, yeah. You are somebody who has, you know, been competing in Rocket League. You obviously have been playing at a professional level. Do you have any tips or advice you'd give to other people who will not improve at Rocket League and get better at the game? 
Mm, yes, like I, I, I told like uh, I, we, I had an interview before this, and I already answered this, and I was like, um, probably never give up, and always trying to 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 do new thing, new things, like not not stuck in the same place and the same mechanics, just trying new things and that get better, yeah. Do you see yourself, you know, uh, pushing yourself like even further? Like, what, what, what is kind of like, where do you want to, what do you want to achieve in Rocket League? Obviously, you said you want to make it to the RLCS, right? Like, what, what, what is the kind of goal for you in that sense? There, I mean, I'm pretty ambitious, probably winning RLCS. <laughs> it's my, 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 my goal, be, yeah. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be easy, but it's definitely is yeah. achievable. Um, I also want to say, like, amongst your teammates, right, like, who's the person that kind of, like, you know, you, you've probably learned the most from in your short time playing the game? Or at a like, professional level, at least. From my team or, or just in general? Um, From your team and in general, like, who, who, who do you feel like you've learned the most from? Like, who's helped you develop as a player the most? Um, In general, I, was, I, I would say maybe Astral. I, I, I love him, to be honest, as a player. Uh, he's, he's very good. And then my team, I guess, Ricks, but yeah, I, I also learned a lot of things from, from Oldie. And GC as well, the coach. <laughs> yep, an amazing coach he is. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I don't think necessarily the, the skill might translate to uh, Fortnite in that same sense, but um, hopefully maybe he'll be able to throw out some sort of random Fortnite team that can help you and push you to, to, to a little bit better in this final game. Obviously, right, so far, um, you know, if you, you, you've been playing, so you've seen it, I envy. He's won three games in a row. Like it's it, insane. Cra crazy <laughs> stuff. I don't know. I don't know how he's done it. Right? Are you gonna be the person to dethrone I envy next game? I uh, I don't think so. I don't think so because I I can't. I I won't be able to play the fourth tournament. I mean the fourth. <laughs> so I don't think I, I'm a, I'm gonna kill him. But maybe maybe someone. I don't know. Maybe Rex. Maybe only. <laughs> Maybe only. <laughs> who knows? Maybe. And based off of the previous games, I, I, I highly doubt it. But hey, who knows? Um, <laughs> same, same to be honest with all. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure about that one. Look, I've been <laughs> asking everybody this, right? In terms of like the Wolves' first team, like the the you know the professional football team, are there, who, who's your favorite player? Like your favorite player on the Wolves team? Raúl Jiménez, hundred percent. Yeah, the Mexican guy. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people would agree with you on that one. Steady recovery from his injury. I hope he's uh, recovering well from his injury. Um, but yeah, definitely a fan favorite for many people. Look, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Lewis. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, it's been a pleasure being able to watch your, your your Fortnite gameplay. Even though it might not be as good as your Rocket League gameplay, it's still been great to watch you. Where, where can the people find you if they want to, you know, do you stream? Do Can they watch you play Rocket League anywhere? Yeah, of course. Maybe, yeah. And I, I stream sometimes. So yeah, Lewis P underscore RL. And yeah, you can you can see me there and touch. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you, bro. Thank you for having me. Goodbye. So, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, believe we are getting to game very shortly. Um, give me a second. Um, yeah, I believe we are going to try and get to a game as soon as possible. Um, I, I, I do want to say though, right? I do want to say props to everybody that's been competing, props to everybody that's been playing. Um, it's, it's been, it's been a, a great three games that we've had so far going into this final game. I do wonder, right? Will we see the four time? Will we see Blitz Envy win four games out of four? Who knows? There have been some other great competitors playing in this we've had the two joshes we've had inside out we've had you know vibes we've had first team players right we've had you know rocket league players compete we've just had so many great people involved in this um and it's and it's all been great i will say to everyone right please be sure to get yourself a jersey because these are great. Look at this. Just look at how amazing it is. It looks great in game and it looks great in person as well. Be sure to type exclamation mark jersey in the chat. There will be a link provided where you can purchase your own from the Wolf store. Um, it's been great. It's been great. I believe as well, I will be able to announce the winner of the jersey giveaway. Because as much as, as well as you can buy your own jersey, there is a, a giveaway for one at the end. And I will be able to announce the winner. So stick around till the end. If you want to know who is going to be the winner of that jersey, stick around to the end. End of the night, we will be announcing that. 
But as you can see, we are back in game now, right? We're back in the game, back watching, and we are watching the star, the star of Rocket League in Fortnite. <laughs> Rick's Ronde, he's looking to uh, stretch his drop a bit. You can see him here stretching his drop. He wants to get all the way to Camp Cod. It's an isolated little island here. The loot here is great. And you can see it looks like he's... Oh, no, I thought he was uncontested. You can see a little green arrow there below in the bottom right. So he is going to have a, a a bit to deal with here, to say the least. He's not going to be able to get away scotch-free. And uh, he has to actually deal with Pedro. Oh, there's actually... Oh, my God. There's three players here. This is going to be really difficult for him. I don't know how that's going to go. Hopefully, we'll get an update soon on how it plays out for him, but... Unlucky. Melon Lime says, my game randomly closed. Unfortunate. Lime. Melon Lime was somebody who was definitely uh, heavily involved in previous games, being able to pick up a bunch of limbs. So, unfortunately, even though you've, even, you know, you've sort of gone out early, you know, props to you for competing today, Melon. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for competing. As you can see here, we tune into Josh over at Steamy Stacks. Josh has done a great job. He's impressed. Josh was actually in the top three. I believe he came third last game. Wasn't able to win it out. He went down to INV in that final zone. But regardless, he'll be looking to uh, you know, improve from the last time, right? He got third. Last game, he's going to look to try up the ante a bit, right? Maybe be the person to stop INV from winning all four games. So Luctiv, we've seen Luctiv in the chat a bunch. Shout out to Luctiv. He's uh, back into the mix now. We hadn't really seen him much. Oh, dear. Bonfield actually took out Triz. Triz, who we've seen do so well in every game, it seems. Actually is going to go down and out rather early in the game, which is uh, uncommon. You know, it's uncommon ground for him. So, Triz does go down in our final game. As we see Luktiv in the midst of a build fight here. No materials left for him. And that's now going to come down to the pound for pound shots. And he trades so much HP. But ultimately, is going to come out on top at the end of it. It was a great job. Really, really great job there of uh, securing that win. It's going to be potentially his first win of many. Right, even within this battle royale, right, there are many opportunities to pick up small little wins. Right, winning a fight, you know, winning your drop spot, winning a supply drop, small little wins you can get along the way, and that's going to be the first of many, hopefully, for Luctive. You see here, I envy in a fight, it's going to be taking place off spawn here, looking to really close things out. Not a surprise to me. That he wins out that engagement against Leo. I envy. An absolute monster. Somebody to be, re you know, somebody to be respected at the end of the day. For how amazing he's been. I've just received an update. I have just received an update. But unfortunately, Ricks. Rocket League's only hope in Fortnite has gone down. Rix is down, guys. Rix is out. That's it. Rix, our beloved Wolves Esports Rocket League Pro has gone down. Unfortunate indeed. Incredibly unfortunate. Look, it's uh, it happens. That's what happens at times, man. You know, you can't expect the Rocket League skill to transfer to Fortnite. Can't expect it to, and it hasn't, unfortunately, for them. That's going to be the end of their tournament run. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What have we just seen? Bonfield is on the key, looking to uh, get in on anybody and everybody. He's taken a fight with Harry. Harry RPG'd himself, and Harry's HP is incredibly low, and now Bonfield looking to take advantage now. As he drops down below, he wants to find those finishing shots to close out this fight. He wants the RPG for himself and he will get it. Oh no. Oh dear. 
another really ineffective RPG shot comes through. And the RPG ammo is limited. It is limited. Another ineffective shot comes through. And at this point, it's all over for Harry. He's panicking. He's out of it. Oh my goodness, I've spoken too soon. Harry, he hit some crazy shots and Bonfield's out. Oh no. How's Bonfield going down there? Harry with the blue tack hitting max tack shots, it seems. And look how many rockets he still has. This may be setting up for a good game for Harry. He takes out Bonfield. Bonfield, one of the strongest players in the lobby outside of the, the INVs of the world. And now Bonfield's down and out in the final game. Bonfield's done. RPG'd himself twice, yeah. He RPG'd himself twice, and yet somehow he still wins the fight. I do not know how. And now the taunting coming through here. He's dancing. He knows he's on stream. Wow. What a play. Inside out now. Just gonna sand tunnel his way through the zone. Obviously, it's a newer feature to, to Fortnite this season. Making great use of it here. Gonna now pop out. Loot this chest. What will he get? Big pot. Big pot is what he gets. A lever action shotgun was in that chest as well, but he's gonna opt to take the green tactical. Which I, I definitely understand. And now, I'm gonna drop. I'm surprised he uh, he took the two floppers over the three minis. Interesting choice. I guess it makes sense to some degree. He's gonna continue about inside out. Definitely somebody who uh, has the opportunity to maybe snatch things away from INV. Delta now, not in that safe zone. As the storm does come in, he's going to have to move. I know you want the brick, Delta, but you got to get into zone. You do indeed need to get into zone. Swapping over here to, uh, oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's her name? Oh no versus Delta now in a fight. They're both in a safe zone. Oh my goodness. Oh no, takes a ton of damage. I'm going to use the bouncer to try to get up a bit higher, but I don't think that's the play. I do not think that's the play, oh no. And oh no, he goes down. Delta. Oh my goodness, guys. Look who we have here. We have El Breezy. El Breezy is on our screens right now. Professional football player. First team player. Four Wolves himself, Lewis Richards. Bush camping here. What do you think of this? What do you think it is, guys? Professional football player camping in a bush shit. I think he knows the strats. I think he knows something we don't. You can see he has his eyes set on that play. He's, he's taking that on stream. I wonder if he has a stream open here. Maybe he does, but... Now he knows he needs to rotate his way on in. L dance coming through. Oh, my goodness. Look at these edits. Look at these builds. He's clean with it. That's what you call techers right there. The shots come through. Not able to connect with anything significant though. No, he's gonna opt to edit his way down, breaking out his old structure. Materials aren't looking bad, but they're not looking amazing, right? Only a hundred wood, decent amount of brick, and the metal is not looking great whatsoever. Does get shot out though. I need to be careful because Evoke 
is not a player to mess with Evoke. We've seen Evoke in the elimination feed a bunch and not on the receiving end of many poundings. Often the ones handing them out and he's looking to do the same now to our boy Lewis Richards. El Breezy goes down. Unfortunately, in our final game, El Breezy will be taken out. And I want to say back to the drawing board, but ultimately he's out for the rest of the competition. So, unfortunate there. Well, not back to the drawing board, but back to the training pitch, maybe, for him. I'm sure that's where his skills will be uh, better suited. Unfortunately, though, he wasn't able to find much success here today. And if we're being honest, nobody has, because uh, I Envy just completely dominated everybody. Completely dominated everybody. Our boy Oh No is in the chat. Oh No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. How are you doing, my friend? He says, I got trashed on. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a great showing for you. Delta did deal with you rather swiftly. But props to you for coming out and competing, bro. Props to you. That's all that matters, right? You came out and you tried your best. So thank you. Thank you for showing up today. You see, Lactive here. Oh my goodness, Lactive looking to get in and get dirty. He picks up another elimination for himself. Four already. And I envy picking up Josh. No. A rematch from the end of last game. I envy versus Josh. He goes down though. Josh goes down to I envy just like he did in game three. Super unfortunate. I envy's on a roll, man. I don't know who can stop this man. But he's on an absolute roll. Our boy Liam Walls 2003. We've seen him in game many times. Liam Walls 2003 says, Love this tournament. Would love to do this again. It's been fun, hasn't it? It has been fun, I'll be honest. I love seeing all the, the Walls fans coming out, trying to show who's the best Fortnite player. Because, you know, when, when it comes down to, to football, you know, it's going to be hard to compete against the first teamers, right? And you got the likes of Max Kilman, you know, Lewis Richards out here. You know, that's a different story. But Fortnite, you got a chance, you know? You got you got a real fighting chance. And we've seen that today. Where we've had uh we've had competitive players, we've had players who are just casual players coming out to compete and play against one another. It's been a, it's been a great time, most definitely. We have here our eyes set on uh, the man who's really stolen the show, hasn't he? The man who has stolen the show, I envy. How does he do it? I don't know. I do not know how he's able to do it every single time, it seems. But will he be able to replicate what he's done three times in a row once again? I think it's highly likely. Harry now coming out. Harry, who we saw take out Bonfield earlier, picking up his second elimination of the game. He has that RPG. He has that legendary assault rifle. He has the blue tactical shotgun. And he's looking to, to, to really cause havoc. We saw how effective that RPG was for INV last game. And so now in the hands of Harry, what will he be able to do with it? I am coming to claim the wolf skin in Fortnite. Well, look, it's not that easy. It's not as easy as coming, just, just coming here and coming to claim it. But look, <clears throat> if you do want a wolf jersey for yourself, you can type in exclamation mark jersey in the chat and you can purchase one from the wolf site. They are great, trust me. They look wonderful. You should get your hands on one. You can see here, I envy. <clears throat> Look at the loadout he has, guys. I'd be scared. If I'm somebody who's still alive in this one, I would be scared because I envy with this loadout, 
Oh my goodness, who will stop him? His HP is actually really low though. This is actually really scary. This is one of the more scarier positions he's been in this whole tournament. But he does get the space needed to uh, get his shields up a bit. You know, replenish a bit of that health. Inside Archie taking grass out there. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What have I just seen? Wow. That is what he does, isn't it? <laughs> that, that is just what he does. I have no words. He just completely wipes people out. Look, we have inside Archie here. He's in the middle of a fight right now. He just took out Grass, I believe. Five eliminations thus far. Looking to now do the same to our boy Josh. Oh no, inside Archie is such low HP. He has the Slurpfish, but will he get the time to use them? No, he will not. Josh takes him out. And finally, we're getting a chance to see GX Josh have some success. Don't you love to see it? Ricky McRiver. We've seen him a bunch. He's not really necessarily made a long-lasting impression on us. But maybe this will be the game where he turns things around. All of these players will now know that they are the final players in this final game. And they have a chance to steal the show. Steal all the attention away from our boy I Envy. He's been so successful so far. Del Sahu's already picked up a couple of eliminations. He's now going to want to try and, you know, maybe pick up a few more in this game. Really put himself in a position where he can actually win things out and all. Harry now. Still with the RPG, with rockets to spare. I envy. With what you probably deem as perfect loot. Floppers, minis, big pots. That purple tactical shotgun. A purple assault rifle. Oh boy. This is setting up to be a, a nail biting a nail biting finish to say the least. Finexar. When you look at what Finexar has available to him, things are looking good. Will he pull zone though? Zone will reveal itself now. He didn't pull the zone. Nobody pulled the zone, really. Zone is close to, what, it looks like three players, but everybody else in the lobby is going to have to move. And now Finexar might find himself running into Harry. Harry's looking to get in, but Harry made the wrong decision because Finexar takes him out. And now if Finexar is able to look and pay attention, he probably can drop his sniper for that RPG, first opting to heal off. Harry has had an absolute howler. He goes down. When his loot was looking so beautiful, looked so tantalizing, just ready. Just to really, you know, give players an issue in this lobby. Give by Envy an issue. Ultimately, that's what it feels like it comes down to. It feels like it comes down to who can really give I Envy something to worry about. Harry soiling his chances in that department. Delta now looking to W key evoke. Really looking to get in here. As the zone does start to pull, both these players... Maybe victim to the zone if they're not careful. Evoke's done a great job of being able to run away so far. But he still needs to continue to get away because I believe Delta is still on the chase, on the hunt, looking to really get in. And now Evoke's run his way into another player and now looking to spend so many builds. He spent almost all of his materials trying to get out here. And with all these players struggling to get into the safe zone, you see I Envy sitting pretty, sitting so comfortably there going to be really difficult for any of these guys. Oh my goodness. Finexar goes down to Evoke. Evoke's managed to find an limb, even with all the struggles he was having. And Delta's got to be careful because if he runs on the open like this, I'm sure I Envy will find him. GX Josh being held in by I Envy. Once again, you see he just takes such great positioning. His understanding, his awareness is so great. Takes such a good position here. Elevated high up. You can see everybody in the lobby. He's able to hold in players like someone in GX Josh, right? Hold them in. And when the time comes, he's going to rotate early, use a bouncer to get into that front side of the zone and replicate the same exact thing. 
every single time. He's so good at it. He's so effective. He is just on one wall, it looks like, almost. So somebody could knock him out if need be. GX Josh is going to have a really hard time rotating in here. The bouncer comes out, but it looks like he's going to go down. I Envy's taking him down to such low HP. And maybe even looking to finish him off. I Envy making his rotate in now. GX Josh does actually go down. He goes down to someone. And someone's just done a double. He's picked up two eliminations there. Takes out McRiver, but someone goes down himself. And so now, three players remaining. Delta, I Envy. I'm not too sure who that last player is. I Envy goes down. He's finally gone down. Delta takes him out. And now it's a 1v1 between Evoke and Delta. How has that happened? I Envy comes third place. He was so close. So close to just picking up that fourth victory out. What a story that would have been if he was able to win all four games. And he comes so painfully close. And now with Delta all the way below on this mountain and Evoke all the way up with such a great position to just force him downwards. Evoke really is setting up to be the first winner outside of I Envy. Delta versus I Envy, both with a fair amount of maps left. Who will win this one out? You can see it's playing out so slowly because they both still have mats. The zone is forcing these guys to move. But eventually, they are just going to have to fight things out. And it looks like Delta wants to do it now. He doesn't want to wait for the zone to stop him. But it seems it might be too late because he's got no materials. But Vogue may be making a bit of a blunder as he drops down. Will Evoke be able to find the crucial shots? The bouncer player comes through when Evoke finds it. Evoke connects four eliminations and the victory out. The first person to win a game outside of Blitz I Envy. And the deserving player at the least because Evoke really did well in those final zones there. What a player, what a play. Victory out for Evoke. I Envy was not able to do the quadruple. But still, if anybody was going to, you know, take his crown, Evoke was definitely a deserving person. Congrats to Evoke. Congrats to everybody that competed today. We spoke about how great everybody was. It was so much fun. It was a pleasure. Shout out to all of you guys in chat right now, man. It was, it was great. It was absolutely great. Good stuff. And congrats to you, Evoke. Let's go, he says. Congrats, man. Congrats. Look, we have another winner. We have another winner ready and waiting to talk to me right now. I am joined by the coach of Rocket League Wolves. Juicy, how you doing, my man? I'm doing good. I, I can't believe you caught me a winner, though. But you, yeah. You are, you are a winner. <laughs> You're a winner at heart. <laughs> I don't know if we can say that after the last split, though, Levin. That was the greatest, but yeah. <laughs> Look, it's it's all good. Look, we, we, we know, you know, that even with, you know, so much preparation and whatnot, like, when you go into a tournament, ultimately things might not play out the way you expect them to right you know you can do all the preparation you could do all the hard work as a coach like talk about what that feels like right you do all the preparation you know your players are working hard you know your players got to drive the passion you know when the results don't necessarily come through like what is that like how do you respond to that as a coach it's uh, to certain extent is even more heartbreaking especially at the moment that it happens because sometimes you have these days where you have this feeling like nothing can go wrong and you're sit there and you're thinking okay it's just gonna it's gonna be a breeze today we're gonna win we're gonna get the result that we want and then you know during the games you see that it's not really going as well as you would want and as well as you would hope and then it, it, it kind of you know it gets to that inevitable point where you're like okay it's probably not gonna happen but you want it to and everything that you can do at that point is just spur on the players and, and give them the motivation that they need but there's this doom and gloom basically just building up and you know it's going to be there and then afterwards it's like uh, i i feel like i carry the same guilt as the players because uh you know there's also things that i could have done more but at the same time it's like you didn't have as much to do basically when they were playing like uh, there's only so much that i can do as a coach during the games itself yeah definitely it, you know at the end of the day you know you you give them the instructions and they have to go in and execute them exactly. um 
as 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 a, as a coach, right? You've been coaching Rocket League. You know, talk about like the process of becoming a coach in Rocket League, the steps that it kind of takes to get to where you are. Because um, you know, I feel like in every game, like being a player is somewhat similar in every game. You understand you need to do mm -hmm. certain preparation, watch rods, whatever. But I feel like coaching journeys for different games seem to be a bit different. What's what's it like in Rocket League becoming a coach? Yeah, it's, it's very different within the different games as well. Because uh, look at a game like League of Legends, where there is like very obvious strategic elements, like pick and bans phase. That is something that you know you could literally have someone do for you as a team. Whereas in Rocket League, it's much more dynamic because it ties in with how the players play. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think that the the biggest uh, um, thing as a coach that you need is people skills because the one of the first things you'll realize as a coach is that it's not about how you teach it's about how your players learn and you got to figure out how your your individual players learn how they learn as a team and basically teach your knowledge that way because it's not going to work if you just say stuff uh, right for some people it may work but others you really need to show how uh, how to do different things or you need to let them experience it and that, that's something that's very important yeah uh, you know ultimately it comes down to like having great man management skills <laughs> right obviously you don't compete yourself you know you, you compete in the sense of you are the coach and so you know you, you represent the team on that level um but when it comes to like competing in games, did you ever compete in Rocket League yourself? Did you ever think about competing? I competed at a decent level. It, it wasn't the highest, but like still all right that I could do a, a small tournament for a, for a few bucks here, even there. But nothing really more than that. Um, I, I did like doing that, but I've, I've always been absolutely terrible in games <laughs> level. It's been really bad. Rocket League is one of the only games that I'm actually half decent at, and that was through sheer dedication and just putting, oh, wow. I think about 4,000 hours now. So you oh, have wow. to be somewhat decent after that many hours. Yeah, after 4,000 hours, you expect <laughs> to be at some decent You'd level. Hope so at least. What, what, what other games do you try playing then that you're not as good at then? I I started out, I think, in my game. I mean, I, I used to have the old uh, uh, Xbox, is basically where my gaming career started. And it, it, it'd be PES back then. That was like, I think PES 5 yeah. or something, which was back then it was actually considered better than FIFA uh, at some point. And then it was the Call of Duty with with guys in, in middle school. Uh, and then at some point I uh, found out about League of Legends, played that for a, for a while. But that's the sort of game where, you know, I'm, I'm half decent, but I won't ever get past like the average. I'm, I'm stuck in gold in League of Legends. Oh, and wow, FIFA, yeah. FIFA was, I was all right at FIFA, but I only really religiously played FIFA 12. And okay. after that, it was just like, because that, that was when uh, uh, it was very, we would just have friends over and play FIFA together and have little tournaments. But then you don't want to be the guy that gets clapped by everyone. So <laughs> exactly. You have exactly. to practice. You got to practice to try and be the yeah. best out of your friends. Look, I, I've been asking everyone this, right? Uh, so, I, so I do want to know your answer, right? You know, when it comes to the Wolves first team, right? If you do pay much attention to football, like who's your favorite player on the first team? Uh, I, I did watch uh, uh, the last match because we don't get to watch it. I can't really watch it because it's the UK uh, uh, and yeah. I don't have like a Sky subscription. But it was on Dutch telly, their, their match versus Chelsea. So I watched that. I don't know if you've gotten any like sort of intel about that match if you watched it yourself. But after that match, I do not think that I can say that I have a favorite because I don't think I've seen a single player hit the ball because it was all Chelsea. But they got a point, so it's fine. Yeah, at least, look, <laughs> well, look, you know, they got a point out of the match. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, it can be difficult, like, you know, like playing against a top team oh, you know, sure. that is going to dominate the ball. That can be difficult. Um, I will say, though, like, I think a lot of what the ones we've heard so far, we've heard Adama Traore, we've heard Raul Jimenez, who's obviously recovering from an injury. Um, I said Pedro Neto, because I'm really impressed by him. He's, he's a young mm -hmm. star. Um, but you know what? I, I, I'll do, I'll give you the same answer that, that Rick's gave. Rick said, whoever scores the winning goal is my yeah. favorite, <laughs> is my favorite player. So we're going up for you then. Look, it's been a pleasure having you. Good luck, Juicy, in all your endeavors as a coach. Thank Keep you. on spurring the team towards victory. Um, thank you very much for joining me, man. No worries. Where, where can the fun. people find you?
Oh. Uh, on Twitter at JuicyUCRL, um, and that's basically where uh, we spend most of our time. But follow the Wolves Esports uh, Twitter for, uh, for any sort of information. And Instagram as well, that's where all of our results, all of our matches, etc. get posted. And get yourself a jersey, guys. Don't forget to get yourself mm -hmm. a jersey on the website, right? Fortnite X Wolves jersey. I've got it on, actually. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me quickly show this. I've got the... Okay. See Fortnite jersey. He's got it on him, so he's yeah. rapping. Yeah, I've, he's got it. I've got it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Look, guys, you should also get yourself one. Look, I can reveal to you guys, right, that I will be able to announce the winners of the tournament. So we have the results coming in and we have the giveaway results. So I will get to that. But once again, though, Juicy, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. It was a great time. Well, I see Liam Walls 2003. He says Daniel Pedence. Daniel Pedence is also another good pick as your favorite Walls player. Look, guys, ultimately, right, the reason why we were here today is because a bunch of you were competing to try and win this, right? Well, a bunch of you wanted this. I don't blame you. Look at it. It's so great. If you have the skin in Fortnite, you'll know how much of a great jersey it is. And I can reveal, right, after the first, after the last four games we've played, that the winners are. I wish I had a drum roll. I wish I had a, 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 a drum roll that we could go with. But in third place, winning a jersey is Inside Out. Shout out to Inside Out. Shout out to Inside Out. Claps, claps for Inside Out. Congrats to, to Inside Out in the chat. In second place, right, the winner of the final game, the winner of game four, Evoke. Evoke's coming in second place. He wins himself a jersey. Shout out to Evoke. Good stuff, my friend. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. In first place, the winner of the cup, Without any shadow of a doubt, without any surprise on anyone's behalf, our boy INV. He wins the entire thing, comes first place, three wins, three wins back to back to back, and third place in the last game. Shout out to INV, man. Absolutely crazy stuff, man. Good stuff all around from all the players. Thank you to everyone that competed. And last but not least, right, there was a Twitter giveaway, right? There was a Twitter giveaway to win one of these beautiful jerseys one of these beautiful things i know you guys want one you can purchase your own but there's one person who won the giveaway who gets one for free scotch free right and i can reveal now that the winner of that giveaway was genesee rl genesee rocket league on twitter i believe i'm sure somebody will be in contact with you soon to let you know that you've won and uh get your jersey sorted for you shout out to Jealousy RL. Look, they're in chat. They're in chat. See, they're in chat right there. Shout out to you. You've won yourself a jersey. Um, shout out to everyone. No, everybody that's been here watching, competing. It's been a pleasure. My name's Levin 2 k You can find me anywhere on the internet at Levin 2 k Thank you to Wolves Esports and Wolves for being able to provide this for us. Shout out to Fortnite for being the game we were playing. It's been a pleasure, guys. I will see you soon.